in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Great start. Um, okay, so we come back to where we were last time, um, and I'm just going to roll straight into it. Uh, last time, where we left off, was that you had taken respite in the inn for the night after doing some uh, some A-grade sleuthing and detection and investigation of the surrounding area. And as you had retired to the inn for the night, you got met face to face with this, um... Oh my god, the stream view is disconnected again. Screech. Um... Alright. Anyway, moving swiftly <gasps> onwards. Essentially, the group with all the lovely gentlemen in it, so Milo, Xanis, Penton, and Alec, had just been attacked by this by this spectre or this ghostly apparition, as I shall now call it. So it came in, it's attacked, and it's disappeared. So Alec, Penton, Milo, and Xanis. What are you four doing? It disappeared. It came in. Magic. Yes. It came in. So, whenever my next round. Yeah, you're not currently in initiative, so I'm assuming you'll be focusing on that. Um, uh, I'd like to take a black card. Okay. If you want to pop that on yourself, and then. Which is 20 seconds. 24 seconds. Yeah, it's never mind. Milo. There's no point if we actually need to combat. We need to go and get Father Bear. Are you going to announce this to the rest of the, to the rest of the room? I I I, I did. You have okay. Th Sorry, that that was me announcing it to the party. Sorry, Brina's <laughs> being slow today. Bear with me. <laughs> so you announce this to the rest of the group, and Alec is currently concentrating on the tech magic. So response may break that concentration. Just a forewarn. Um, Penton, do you have any qualms to this? What, go get the Holy Knight to deal with the undead spectre? No! No, I don't! I think that's a good plan! Xanis <laughs> looks very concerned, looks at, <laughs> looks at Milo, looks at the door, and just pulls his knife out as well. Let's go... I guess we're... Yep, so as you start... Going the ritual, out <laughs> as you start going to go out the door... <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> as Milo's about to exit the room, we're gonna go okay. over to the other group who is in the ladies' room. So Kay, Mira, and Alice, all you're hearing at the moment from across from outside is a slamming around. What is going on? What are they doing? Uh, they're having a party. I wish we could uh, have a party. Well, uh, I think, uh, you know, we should be in the party now. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, let's go. It's the let's party. Go. Party time. Party time. Party, party time. time. Party time. We walk out and join the party. Oh my god. <laughs> Kay, Kay stays in the room, but Mira and Alice exit into the hallway where Milo slams open the door. With Xanis, weapons in hand, jumping out immediately afterwards, and without a word, Milo bolts down the hallway. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, they're taking the party with them! After them! That- <laughs> Oh, it's going to die, Anna! Alice! Uh, there, there is no party. Well. What do you mean there's no party? You guys are screaming! Yeah, we're under attack! Oh, by what? I'm whipping the sword out. Fight the rhino! And as Mira says an incredibly dumb question, and not does not think does not think ahead. Um, when do we ever think ahead? Touche. Well, <laughs> um, what's your AC? Um, I plead the fifth. <laughs> the fifth will not save you in a D and D session, so. What is your race? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? My rights as an American citizen? What are you You're not American. About? You're not, not American. American citizen. Sit down. <laughs> what uh, is your AC? I can I use Garda's reaction? 
Okay, what is your AC? If you're using guard as a reaction, what is your AC? Answer I'm the calculating! Calm yourself, 27! Yeah, no, that's not doing shit for you. Can you make, <laughs> can you make me two, uh, two constitution saves, please? Uh, uh, <laughs> um, oh, I got con, nice. Uh, yeah. 26 and 19. You succeed the first save, you fail the second. Oh, feck! Well, that's done me in. So, you take 16 points of shadow damage, so that'll be 8 with your resistances applied on the first. Dabs. Um, and you take 17 shadow... This is with your resistances applied. You take 17 shadow damage from the second, and you take one point of damage to your strength, dex, and con stats. Mate, can you just tally that up in total brain? No oh God, work. Really? Okay. 8 plus 17? Is that 20... 25? 25. 25? Yeah, 25 oh. total. Oh and my then God. minus one to your strength, dex, and con. Man, that's crazy. Do you know how to put that into your sheet? You just put a minus one? Yes. Okay. Oh, oh I'm so good. And then almost as quickly as this as this as this barrage this barrage of attacks came, it disappears again. <laughs> um by this point Milo has reached the door at the end of the hallway where Father Bear went. Milo <laughs> knocks on the door. Pleasant trees, man. Oh my god. Wait, you, you want me to barge into someone's in room? Uh, yeah. Father Bear's yeah. in room? Yes, he's not going to be naked. No, knock on the what door. And even if he is, he'll be fun. Yeah. Also as that, naked. as you hear, as you hear the door knocking, you hear a, a disgruntled, gr a disgruntled, like groan of annoyance. As Father Bear sticks his head out of the doorway after a, a few seconds of heavy footsteps. What is it, Milo? What is the problem? The ghost is attacking us. He gives you a slow blink. What? The ghost is attacking us. Almost immediately. No, he's not holding his shield, but basically in what I can only describe as a loincloth in terms of covering, st storms out of the room, battle axe in mm -hmm. hand. Basically, nothing is being left to the imagination right now. Fair enough. Wait, but but the battle axe and not the shield. Huh? Why would you grab the battle axe and not the shield if he's not got time to get dressed? Because he starts charging down the hallway, swinging the axe around, trying to hit whatever it is. But the foot, the heavy footsteps and slamming stops, and seems to have moved into the downstairs of this inn. I guess we follow. Question mark. Uh. Has it ran away, or has it just gone bored? Uh. Can I... can I... is everyone within 30 feet of me? Can any of us actually hit the thing? Even Father Bear? I don't like advantage him. against that sort of stuff, but can he actually hit an incorporeal thing? Why don't you ask him? That wasn't the answer. Oh, okay, that was not... Thinking aloud, that was not clear. <laughs> okay. Um, as you ask... Can you hit it? As you ask him that, he heads back into his room. You hear a few moment. You hear a few, like... Like, what I'm going to describe as, like, belts and zips being pulled as Father Bear returns to the hallway with ar with armor and shield re-equipped. Well, yes, of course I can. It's a ghost. It doesn't exactly deal well with holy magic being thrown at it. And downstairs, we have a ghost to beat the shit out of. That was the correct answer. Yes, sir. Can I cast Mass Gnome's Cunning while we're at it? Uh, At sure. this point, has, am I on the second round? 
Yeah, I would say up. you've hit the third round at this point easily. Okay, so their strength and location of each aura. Uh... Everyone gets plus six to their intelligence. Wow. Give me the auras. You've had it down somewhere. Oh, six to intelligence. Oh my god. Yeah, everyone gets plus six to their intelligence. That's amazing. So, literally. as long as somebody else can keep track of how long that lasts, just pop the number six. Uh, attempts that boosts. Uh, it says nineteen minutes. I don't know what that equates so, to. A while. A while. Oh, a while. Just, we're just one minute is ten permanent. Rounds. So it's, so it's 190. it's 190 rounds. We'll just leave it as perm then, for now. Nah, I'm gonna keep track of that mentally. Okay, fine, you can do that. It's mild. So... Oh my god, guys, I've never been smarter in my life. <laughs> Me too. Going, going, I following have, downstairs. I have, I, have, I have 28 intelligence right now. No, I can see through fucking time. Well, I can probably see through time anyway. But, you know. I find it really oh, funny if, when Alice's intelligence is massively raised, her, like, SEC accent is pissed. <laughs> it's very well spoken. <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> I would love that. Oh my gosh, I've become Diana. All of this intelligence. <laughs> she hath ascended. Oh my god, I fixed Alice being a dumb shit! <laughs> oh, don't worry, she's back. She's just a little bit intelligent now. Oh, okay. Go, he's back downstairs! <laughs> downstairs! So, as the party proceeds to move downstairs, uh, Alec, your detect magic picks up nothing in the, the 60 feet around you that it should project. As, you're, as you and the rest of the group move downstairs, you are picking up nothing. I have had you with this, buddy. <laughs> But the entire party, there are no there are no magical presences currently. But, but, so it's gone. It disappeared. You can hear footsteps and slamming around in the uh, in the room downstairs. It's probably because it's not really here. Yeah, but last last time it said it's, uh, when I was one round into it, it said there was a presence. That's probably because it was in our room at that time, but to me it <laughs> disappeared afterwards. And now it's disappeared. That sucks. Yeah. Well, at least we're not being attacked by a ghost. You detect presence you... knocking out my As As the party is searching around, you should. Have... During this point, you might, you'll manage, you'll like, end up returning to the same kind of table in the middle of the room. And Alex, suddenly you, you detect a presence in the room. And I'd like everybody to make me a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, <laughs> oh, on. oh wow, and that one! A wisdom saving throw, you <laughs> said. Is that... I can't even use Lucky Streak to increase it, because... Um, <laughs> To scream, cry. Is it, is it a magical or a non-magical saving throw? Magical. It's gay save. Magical, cool. Okay. Crying. So what? where are all? saving throws? Where are saving? <laughs> there is the save section. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Oh yeah. my yeah. wisdom save section. Be over and um, okay. So I am going to go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry, I'm very eager. I can tell. Um. Oh yeah, I don't have to roll for fun decks. What do you mean? That's yeah, so dumb. As an dumb. advantage, smiley face. That's a that one. <laughs> um, well, that's unfortunate. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. I rolled a seven beforehand. It's advantage. <gasps> Father Bay, you're not completely me. cucked immediately. Please Woo! tell me it's just fear and not like something crazy. Mm. I refuse to make a doom save. Well, oh no! Out. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to do numbers. I am trying to do numbers. Uh, Alice, what did you roll for your wisdom save? Ten. Okay. What? Is that ten total? Yeah. Oh, did you roll really <laughs> low? <great. laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
I, I need to check something, because I swear that this is something that... Okay. I'm being a dumbass. Um, please, That's not like you. Here, please, don't I have not. a bad feeling about this. She says it was no hint of sarcasm. Wink, wink. V, 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 Sorry. Oh. Um. Well, that's a that's a that's a thing. Um. K, please don't. Please, for the love of God. K, my darling. K, my love. K, my little so sunshine. You did not do it. God damn it, K. Mira, what did you roll? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Am I okay? Uh, am I okay? Loopy Loo? Okay? Am I okay? okay? Am I okay, Annie? No, I am not. Alec, what did you roll? Seven. Mmm. Milo. That one. Mmm. Penton. Sounds like Milo. <laughs> what? And last, but definitely not the least, Xanas, please. How the fuck? Hello? That is... <laughs> My god. I am upset by the fact that's the only time I rolled well for any of the NPCs. Okay, so everybody apart from Father Bear and Xanis... Failed. I literally can't succeed this, I'm pretty sure, so... And you are all in... You are all inflicted with panicked for the next seven rounds. Oh no, oh What does panic do? Say. <laughs> what do you does need panic me to tell do? you what panic does? Yeah, because yeah. I don't know shit. R, F, B, and Z. Am I going to have to like, run Panicked away? for how long was it? Seven for rounds. seven rounds. Seven rounds. Am I going to have to pull my pants down and shit and no. run away? Panicked. Target drops anything they are holding and flees from whatever inflicted this status. It cannot take any actions aside from fleeing. It takes minus two to all saving throws and skill checks. If cornered or unable to flee, the panic target cowers and does not attack. Panic creature can use spells or abilities to flee from their attacker and must use these if possible. Should no escape be possible, the target is inflicted with the cowering status. Oh no! Oh, bye, Alec, oh, I guess. Oh my gosh, we need to run! Get out of here! Run! Run! Is the door locked? You don't know. Holding my pan. So we're all gonna run for what the if door I'm and holding my pan and I drop them? them on own. You're holding your pants and you. What if? What if I'm not? But what if I was holding my pan? Hey, hey. Before we no. being panicked. Um. Well, seven rounds, but who knows? Anyway, so you can get pretty far from the inn that time. Potentially yes, but you don't know if the door's unlocked because nobody checked. Or nobody had the chance to check anyway. Well, I'm currently panicked, so I guess I'm gonna be running screaming for the door. Okay, you, well, uh, anyway, Lopez. everybody roll initiative, please. L Lopez, you said yes. magic, right? Mm-hmm. So, Alec! That's <laughs> exactly what I was about to ask. Yeah. Yep. Am I yep. Am I just leaving? Am I... Potentially, am yes. Am I leaving? <laughs> you just straight yes. up fuck right off. <laughs> oh no, I'm never everybody, gonna please recover roll from this. Initiative. I to a fucking <laughs> Oh my god. My dice are upset Ooh. at the fact that um, I didn't use them for the last two sessions. M Milo, me too. <laughs> me too. Oh wait, wait! I roll, I roll initiative three times. Oh, 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 oh. three times. Thank Alec God. discovers yeah. yes. the main part of his class. <laughs> the main, the main appeal okay. of time mage. It's oh. not much better, but it's better than a one. <laughs> it's not much, but it's honest work. <laughs> it's not much, but I want to. I want to. I will, I will be. Unfortunately, I will be fleeing. So, unfortunately, I'll be fleeing somewhere. Unfortunately, uh -oh. I am gay. <laughs> I have. I have. I think. <laughs> I have 1,800 miles. I could go. I wonder where I'll end up. Please, train. In the middle of the ocean? I don't know. Mist or something? Probably in the middle of the ocean. I choose... No, I choose a place. But you're panicked. Yeah, but you're panicked, so uh, choosing a place is not not in the question here. <laughs> no, the, the options you get is north, ocean. west, east, or south. Or yeah, south Korea. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Alex
they just teleport to the ends up in North Korea? <laughs> oh god. Anyway. It's <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can hush your tits. <clears throat> Alice, what did you roll? Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Mira. Uh, uh, Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Alec. Seventeen. Milo. Eight total. Penton. Twenty-four. Okay. Brilliant. Well, now I've got to sort of set to eight because I've got to sort of biggest first. Um, first person to move is Xanis. Oh, fuck me. Sideways with the banana. Um, oh my God, I what retract my the above statement. Oh, okay. Um. Fuck. Uh, ooh, actually, wait, 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 eyebrow wiggle, eyebrow wiggle. Xanis uses his movement to move up to where Kay is, and uses a tinticure on her, curing her panic status. Uh, then proceeds to... Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't want to know the context of that. Um, I accidentally set my MP to 9 instead of <laughs> minus 9. I was like, ah! <laughs> well done. Thank you. I'm a um, military genius. Xanis uses his bonus action to set up Aurora on himself. So for the next 8 rounds, he has fast healing 9 and plus 8 to AC. really funny because Zanis now has more AC than Father Bear. Ha 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 ha. Um This is gonna be really funny if this works, but <sighs> I'm gonna resist the temptation to do this. But I should probably make it clear as to where the hell this thing is. As it has appeared in the material plane. Oh! 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 Uh, uh, it oh! Like a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> looks a little bit like a rocket. It does I'm look very rocket shaped. Here. It is a ghost. It kind of looks like a Sith. Oh. It kind of <laughs> does share that energy, I realise. Um... So, Xanus has used his, some of his running at shoulders. 5, 10, 15, 20. Everyone's running away, sprinting, but the little right is just like, mm -hmm. uh, Okay, so that's one action, bonus act plus bonus action. Um, I am going to say, the size of this uh, room that I'm currently using as like a hub map, Um, it's basically the same size as the, uh, the tavern you're currently staying in, so I'm just gonna use that as a map. Okay. Um, fuck. Uh, um, oh, three actions left to use, and I don't know what to use them for. Poor. Um, Xanus is going to use Brute, uh, not Brute Shell, Blast Shield three times over on on Milo on Alice and on Penton so for the next wait is that correct I feel like that's incorrect that is incorrect god damn it so for the next eight rounds Penton you have plus eight to your saving throws Milo, you have plus eight to your AC for the next eight rounds, and it was Alice the last one, wasn't it? I said. Yeah. Yeah, you also have plus eight to your saving throws for the next eight rounds. Ooh. Yeah. I put that in there. Cheers. Milo, are you typing it in ghosty? Yeah, I am. E Yo. Uh, which means the next thing to move is the 
Barrel high. Um. Well, this is a uh, awkward. Let me check its tactics because it actually has some written on you. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Oh god, that was close to almost not being a verb. Okay. Well, this is gonna be fun. As oh, no. the wraith. Which, yes, I am okay with naming this thing now. The spirit before you is very clearly a wraith. And it's, re oh, it's, no. very, re it's very recognizable by, you know, the, the way that it appears when it's not the, its ethereal appearance, if you will. Normally, while it's in the ethereal plane, it's seen to be a, like, shadowy figure with a pair of bright red eyes in place of where its eyeballs should be. But looks like your semi-typical typical spirit when it's fully manifested. It moves up to uh, the three gentlemen and rolls to hit rolls to hit Milo. <coughs> you, as it upon using its lovely bonus action ability Ecto Smash. Um what My AC is 30 at the moment. I rolled a 31. Go figure. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do I, need a, do I need to roll a save? Yeah, you need to make me a con save, please. Just one? Just the one. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um. 20. Total. Well. I failed, didn't I? I failed. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, yeah, okay. Is it the strength X con? Yep. And you Minus take two. 17 points of damage total with your resistances applied. 17 points total. That's this sad. Is... That's sad considering how close that was. <laughs> I was like, oh no. So, minus two to my strength Dex and con at the moment. Let's what? Yeah. Go. As it then turns And my around. saves are... My saves are... Oh, oh I'm no. never going to actually be able to make the save now. Rip. Um... The Wraith proceeds to... Oh god, wait. Yeah, okay, this is gonna be interesting. It proceeds to unleash Death Cutter on oh, its great. next target, which I will decide with a d4. Oh, Alec, hi, how are you doing? Oh, <laughs> is he dead? <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm already, I'm already dead. Uh, I rolled a 20! I'm already... <laughs> 20! I mean, wow. the, so, um, the shadow damage is going to get half. I'm yeah. ready for our third party death. Um, right, it was nice knowing you guys. <laughs> Does a 45 hit? Oh my god. Um, I'm, let me check, let me check my... See a second. Uh, my AC is 14. So, you, may yeah. have, you may have abilities that allow you to react, so I'm giving you the opportunity I'm, I'm to do looking, that. I'm looking through them. Uh, <laughs> can they react yeah. if they currently can? Yes, everybody else? because you react. Yeah, you would be able to react still. Because oh God, it's either um, moving away, or so you may still think straight. Yes, you can Can I yourself. reaction cast delay death on myself so I cannot die from HP down? Um Hold on, give me a second. Because I gotta look at the specifics of this. Let me take a quick look yeah. at the spell because I've got a It doesn't say what you're reacting to, but I assume it's taking enough damage to, to down you. <laughs> it's it's, the, it's, it's the, a fourth level reaction, by the way. Fourth. Delay death. Yep. Yeah, that'll be if the thing will kill you, which I don't think it will, okay. but if it does, I will apply that. Uh, so. Okay, cool. I need you to make me a. Uh, uh, Don't say uh, con save. I need you to make me two Just con saves. Con save. Two cons are my constitution. Don't say con save. Two con saves. It's plus. It's plus one. So, dude, the only that's con... a six and a sixteen. <laughs> that's probably the best I can hope for. Oof. And it's and it's not not very good. No, <laughs> I'm afraid not. Um, you take thirty three points of shadow damage total. 
That's with your resistance oh, I, applied. I, I, that's with my resistance is applied. Yep, because it's a crit, and then I halved it. So the crit. So minus thirty three. Yep. Minus, min minus one to your strength, dex, and con stats. Okay. Minus one to strength, dex, and con. I need to roll. In that. combat. Okay. Have you applied the uh, minus one to strength, dex, and con, by the way? It's it's in there, yep. Okay. Sorry, I'm just making sure I've rolled the cooldown for this. Um, do I have an extra damage to take? Nope, but you do have a status effect to take. Which you are surprisingly lucky on. For the, You are inflicted with countdown. Meaning uh, that once we reach round seven, Alec will be reduced to zero HP. Oh, can't we just go to the lesser's round? No. Oh. Round seven. Let's hope I don't flee! <laughs> ha! <laughs> Someone is having some problems over there. Um, I guess I should just start making a new character now. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> um, Am I? Oh, is he? Okay. Next person to act on the initial. Oh, wait, no, 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 hold on, that's one action, isn't it? Bonus action, action, movement. Oh. Um. You can stop at any time. <laughs> that, that is an option. That you have. Then turns around and sees Mira. <laughs> oh, yeah! I'm gonna go oh, for yeah. a green bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah! It licks her. Oh my god, that's so sexual. Mm. Lizard. Oh, lizard. Anyway, Mummy lizard. A bit of confusion over. Um, hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, yeah. It's going to phase, to phase through Penton. So Penton Age, make me a con save. Wait, hold on. How far is this movement? Need to check. Thing sucks off. I hate it. Oh, oh, it's far enough. Both Penton and Mira need to make me con saves as the wraith flies straight through you both. Oh, oh. that's so grim, man. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh my. Man, I can't wait to start running away, panicked. What did you say? Con save. Do I yep. Huh? Okay. Uh, twenty three. Uh, that is a success. What? Yeah. Rolled off. Yeah, let's reroll it. Maybe. I don't want to. Well, if it fell off. <laughs> it's a <laughs> okay. Well, then that's fine then. I guess. What did you roll total? Thirty six. Okay. So, apply your own resistances. Uh, Mira, you take twenty damage. Apply your own resistances. Is that shadow? Yeah, this is half. Okay. This is half from its total, so twenty plus whatever your resistances okay. are. Um, it'll be seventeen for you, Benton. Apply your resistances as appropriate. And last action this thing is going to take. Is it's going to roll to hit Alice? Oh no! Uh, question: Do you have your shield up? I would assume you do. Well, I mean, I would love to say yes, but everyone drops everything that they're holding. Oh and shit! Hits. Yes, yes, I forgot. Okay, so it's thirty-four. That hits. Why um, are you so you happy? Look, I'm. <sighs> make me a con save, darling. I'm well, upset that's too. okay because I have plus eight to my saving throw, so right, don't, don't you try me. It's I'll make it'll be magical. Me. It'll be a magical con save. Okay, well, life might be good. Wait. Save on. Okay. I'm getting the calculator out. Oh. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Did you include the plus eight from? Uh, safe. Oh, yeah. Not 
Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, you are standing near Xanus, that means fucking Royal Guard. Lupus. Heart of Stone, Heart of Light, hold on, I need to check. Wait, what's up, what's up, what's up? Xanus, breathe on me, please. I, breathe on me, I just, I just looked through my saving throw sheet. I have immunity to doom and countdown. Okay, well then, you are not infected by the countdown. Ah, oh, thank fuck. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. That was a quick edit. I did that. <laughs> oh, so kind of like, I need to check this because. Uh, fuck. I've got to remember. I've got to remember. I've got to remember. Okay, no. I'm sorry. Oh, well, it's a bird in the room. It's a fail. It's one off as well. Okay, so you take. Do you... Uh, do you have shadow damage? Question. Well, I really hope that I do, but I don't actually know. Can you check? It's on your combat page. Uh, right yes, I have shadow damage, yes. Okay, so you applying uh, resistances, it is a 25 point damage total. Look, 25 damage total, with your resistances already applied. Um, and you need to pop minus one into your strength, dex, and con for me, please. I need to minus one from my strength, dex, and con. Yeah, yes. so where it says 10 boosts, there should be a zero there, yeah? Yeah. Set that to minus one. Let me find that again. Oh yeah, here it is. If you need help, just let me know. Strength, dex, and con. Right, well, lovely. Okay. And that is the end of the Wraith's turn. Which now comes round to K. Fortunately enough, Xanus unpanicked. So, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, come on, please tell me you have this. Oh boy. Okay, well, this is gonna be interesting. Um, how many do you get? How many do you do? How many do you do? How many do you do? Uh, how many people are still panicked? Me. Uh, everyone that isn't Father Bear, Kale, Xanus. One, two, three, four, five. Fuck. How many actions does Kay have? Okay, this is gonna be dicey. Because I have to pick. Oh god, I have to pick! Uh oh. Um, I mean, I have Estenago. Yeah, but I. Long story short, I don't think that. I don't think it's gonna be strong enough. Put it that way. Okay, okay. Kay is going to use both of her actions to dual cast Basuna, losing 36 MP in the process, but. And is going to. going to use it on Milo, Alec, Alice, and. Mira. Ooh, what is so the, only person, the only person that's currently left panicked is Penton. Oh, I'm no longer panicked. Ah, oh, we can reclaim my items. Question. Might just flee anyway. No, I'm just kidding. Is it something you have to make additional saves, or are you just stuck seven rounds panicked? <gasps> you are stuck seven rounds panicked. Fuck. Yes, I'm aware. Um, then using bonus action is going to. Fuck, I could have gone about this so much more intelligently. Uh, as a bonus action, it's going to use Divine Seal. So I'm going to pop that down. Uh. Which means next person to act is Penton. Actually, I'm going to move, I'm going to move K about. Wait, no, I can't do that because the fucking Wraith is there. God damn it. Okay, no, Penton, your turn. So I can't save against this. At the start of the round. Ah, uh, let me double check, just in case I got my information wrong. Because I'm quite good at moving. So if that door is unlocked, I'm gone. Yeah, no. Once the, once the effect is inflicted for this specific ability, it's there for the foreseeable. How far away is the door? Um, do you see where I'm pinging on the map? That's the door. Out of the establishment. Let's 
So, yeah. Feet, so I've still got 25 feet of speed if I dash. So you've moved up to the door, and as you try to open it, it is locked. It is locked. What the window? I am terrified, I am panicked, I will use any method to get out of this building. They are all currently barred shut. What's the AC at the window? Let me check for you. Haha, I didn't think I'd have the, the actual health. Of a, wait, that's wrong thing. Hold on. Uh, system mechanics, so the base mechanics. How will determine they be to leave before they give up and start cavalry? Uh, basically, be if you're cornered or unable to flee. So it depends on whether Pen Penton's brain is intelligent enough to process smashing through window. Well, he's just got plus past six to intelligence. Good point. Um, if you want to attempt to try and attack, to try and break through the window, then you will need to roll the hit. Depends on whether you believe that Penton would be smart enough in this situation to recognize and escape. Penton's current intelligence is 24. So yes. So you may attempt to break through the window? I dropped what I was holding. Yes. So I dropped the sword. Yes. I still have the cards. And I still have money. Assuming you're holding them. Well, I would have put one on my person, and I would have held one in my hand. Which means that one would have been dropped, and you will end up dropping the other one out of panic. But they're not, I'm not holding both, they're just attached to me. You, you drop anything you're holding. Oh, hey then. And is going to full force ram himself into the window as fast as he possibly can. Okay, roll the <coughs> I don't know how to roll that. Uh, it, it will be something you're not proficient with, so it will be your charisma modifier, because that's what you're using. Like to specify that he's trying to use the fabric against the glass and not going head first, and using shoulder instead. You'll be using, you'll be up against the, wood, the wooden frames that are currently used. All the, like the wooden shutter doors that are across the windows currently. So please I didn't know that. At, hmm? I didn't know that. At, I thought yeah, that's what I said. They they are part of the wall. They are closed. They are locked down. Well, then he won't try. He's smart enough to know that, and he'll just cow it. Okay, so I thought they were just glass. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. Okay, so Penton is now instead of being afflicted with panic, is now afflicted with cowering. As now cowering by the door. And let me scroll up the status effect list. Cowering. Target is frozen in fear and cannot take actions. They will they will take minus two to their AC while in this state. It's gonna kill me! It's gonna kill me! It's gonna kill me! Ah! Meaning the next person to act is Father Bear. This could be an embarrassing experience for Benton. <laughs> I'm so terrified I've dropped my weapon and ran for the door, so, yeah. Wait, before you do anything... Mm -hmm. I still react to things, I'm still aware. Mm -hmm. I would know that I have a thing that will make me less easy to hit and easier to run You are away. cowering. You are unable to take actions. Okay. You cannot react to something that has not occurred to you yet. Okay. I would meant, I meant while I was still running the door, but I forgot to mention it. Yeah, probably should mention that. Since the situation changed, I keep thinking of what I was doing. Mm -hmm. That's understandable. I know this uh, is a bad time to it. say it. Yes. I know this is a bad time to say it. Don't you have an emergency exit? Penton is outside. Great! Well, Why would you say that? That's amazing. Penton is outside the walls of the city. Penton is currently where the merchant usually ends up, outside of the city, and is no longer part of this combat situation. Oh. So for the foreseeable, Penton, you are basically just going to sit there and wait. Um, 
while the bear, seeing that things are going to shit, proceeds to get his battle axe out and move 20 feet and is going to hit this thing. That's a natural go, go. one. That'd be better. That's a nat one, but fortunately enough, still has a reaction, so uses one of consumes one use of reliable strike to re-roll. That's a four, it's still not great, but it'll hit because it's a 40, 43 total. So GM roll. Uh, this That's four ones on those d6s. That's a one, 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 one. <laughs> Great. Um, so. So, Father Bear does 52 points of slashing damage and 18 <laughs> points of holy damage. Um, so I'm going to follow that up with another attack. It's a 5 on the dice, so this is now... Backswing is now applied, so that's now... Surprised I didn't get opportunity attack to be honest. Hmm? Surprised I didn't get opportunity attack to be honest. Yeah, you weren't close enough to really. Oh my god, roll 20, please. Don't slow down. Although my laptop is being a butt. Here we go. That's 50, 53 points of slashing damage and 40 points of holy damage. During this point, so I'm going to follow that up with. Uh, who is going to be damaged? It's going to follow that up with Cure 3 on Alec. Who is currently, I'm being healed. It's currently oh, no. the, on the lowest HP. Okay, as per usual. <laughs> So you are healed 37 points of health. Ooh. Thank you. It's going to cast Cure 3 on Alice, healing her 44 Ooh. points of health. Oh, lovely. And then using his bonus action is going to cast Leniency. Oh, sorry, Leniency 2. Um, healing... Mm, healing Milo for... 27 points of health. That is the end of Father Bear's turn. Meaning, next person to act is Alec. Oh! It's Tug! Oh, fuck. I didn't. Alec, I didn't even think <laughs> about what my turn would be. Oh, fuck. Um, I'm gonna. I can't cast Meteor. Um, I'm gonna cast. Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna pass shit. Um, <laughs> let's start with. Where is it? Not so many spells. Uh, haste -ger. Yep. So, yep, haste for everyone within 30 feet of. of uh, let's just say me. Yep, so that's everybody. And second action. Uh... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just do a, a mass recall agony, but only on that guy. So, uh, whiz save. Wisdom save. Okay. 
throw me a wisdom and now I have to roll. What's the DC? Well, the DC is... My spell DC for... Yep. It will spell it. That's Mass Recall Agony, yes? Yeah. So okay. Where are I know, I'm nearly, I'm nearly there, I'm nearly there. Uh, 29. Okay, so that is a fail. Excellent. They take uh, 35 points of non-elemental damage. Okay. I'm assuming that's into your turn, yes? Yep, that, that, that'll be it. Okay, next person to act is Alice. Okay, so I'm going to pick up my things that I've dropped on the floor. Mm-hmm. And then I'm actually going to cast a spell for the first time in my life. I feel um, like I should I'm be concerned, one. but proud. What are you casting? I'm casting... Lost it. Dark hold. Make a wisdom save, fellow ghost. <laughs> fellow ghost. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. I just want to take a look at this. Uh, okay, that's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. Just close that. What's the DC? That's literally what I was trying to find. It's, it's like, first oh, level no, spell. Find my so DC. The first level charisma DC. Oh, my spell. Okay, it's 17. Uh, it succeeds. Oh. Okay, well, then. We're not done. Girl is gonna use. Um, no, it's not inflict him dead. Oh, do I have another? I have four actions. When did I get four actions? When you became level nineteen. Uh, <laughs> I was like <laughs> used to. I prepared two, but I guess we've got four. Okay, then I'm gonna cast. Summon monster three, and I'm going to summon uh, a. Second. Do you want me to check what the um, what the actual things are for that? Because I will admit I've not gotten it immediately to hand. So give me two seconds. I'm gonna summon a warg wolf. Yeah. Let me check if I have this to hand. Uh, um, I have not got a token to hand for this, but let me check if I have it stat block done. If not, I'm going to be working with an interesting situation here. Um, Walk Wolf, I do not have a stat block done, but yep, so Walk Wolf has been summoned. Okay, this is a pretty easy one to use. So when does the Walk Wolf action now? Uh, no, that will be at the end of the round. So okay, cool. this will be a spell that you will have to con that you will need to concentrate on. So you can do this as your last action, yeah. or do that use the rest of your turn for this. So are you are you going to use the rest of your actions to start casting this spell then? Alice. Did do another act. Okay. So, what's your next action then? Okay, can I can I can I whack it with the with the um with the long sword? Yep, roll to hit. Let's go. Oh my god, I rolled a natural twenty. Oh. Damn. What the freaky fruit? That's thirty two. 32, okay. That's 32 to hit, yeah. 
Sorry? A 32 to hit, was it? No. Uh. Yep, that hits. That hits. It's already damage. Right. Um, 20 points of damage. Okay, so... 20 points of slashing damage. So, 10 points of slashing damage total, as it is an incorporeal creature. Actually, is the weapon magical? Sorry, the stupid question. It's a magical weapon, isn't it? Because it's yeah. a plus two, so never mind. My brain cells are being slow. That's okay. Okie dokie. Lovely, that's the end of my, my turn. Okay, so if, until the end of the round, you'll be focusing on casting the Summon Monster 3 spell. So if you are hit oh. before that pops off, which probably won't be, unless Mira decides to be a dumbass, then you're good. Uh, speaking of dumbasses, Mira, it's your turn. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, E-I-E-I-O. Um, um, t -t -t <laughs> I, <laughs> um, I had a plan. And then my plan no longer works. So, yeah. Uh, first thing, in spell row. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do it to uh, lightning. Good question mark. Okay. Yep. Let me change that because it's not in my plan anymore. Okay. Oh my. God, there's so many numbers. What's a 9 plus 24? 32? No, 33! 33! <laughs> yes. yes. I use my undead Bane Rapier. I feel like this thing is undead. Just a, just a, just a thought. <laughs> does a 20, <laughs> 21 hit? No, it does not. Fuck! Okay, then I cast Phalanx 3. Yep. I don't have to have the. I don't have to do it in order. I can do it in any order I want, can't I? Between raping yeah, as well. Yeah, because it's uh, yeah. it's great spell combat, now, I believe. Poggers. So, yes. Okay, we'll we'll try that again. Um, oh, that's a natural twenty. Um, okay, two d six plus two. Twelve. What, total. 12, Twelve damage total. With with the crit, yeah, half yeah. that. Yeah, incorporeal. Not... The incorporeal monster that you are attacking does not seem to be affected by your critical hit. Ooh. Bruh. Anyway, um, plus so thirty three is... lightning damage. So please total up your damage for me, and oh, God. do not apply your critical modifier, as this being this incorporeal mm. being is immune to crits. Okay. Next thing is um, what is the damage total, please? D six slashing, thirty-three lightning. Okay. And then Bonk. Uh, I, I will cast. Please look at your, please look at the roll twenty page. Why? Because it will provide some very useful information for you. Oh, it's not even there. Dumbass. Look, I don't know how to use my eyes. Okay. Oh, I um, mm -hmm. So I just cast guard four and then stop because it's gone. I I ain't got shit to do. Fair. Okay. Yeah. So immediately upon the end of this encounter, um, Zanis sprints, ba basically sprints to the door. I'm gonna get into roll. Oh my god, it was 6 plus 2 Slight MP. <laughs> oh my god, you fool. So, so uh, combat is over? It's not going to come back? Yes, it oh. is. As far as you're aware, the combat is over. So oh my god, I did it. So, not using initiative. Xanis picks the, picks the lock on the door. Can I go get a snack? Go for it. Okay. Xanis picks the lock on the door with a 35 on sleight of hand and proceeds to sprint out of the building. Leaving Alec, Milo, Father Bear, Mira, Kay, and Alice in the room alone. And my wolf. Oh, and the wolf, yes, that is, um... <laughs> There's a wolf? Of, yes, 
Alice summoned a warg wolf that will exist for the next, like, 30 seconds. Oh. No. Uh, sorry, no, minute. I think it's a minute 16 30. rounds? Yeah. I six, cast... One round is six seconds. I cast all of these goddamn buffs and I'm not even gonna use them. So for the can next I, 90 seconds... Sure. <laughs> Tell it you love it before it evaporates into the ether. Anywho, I'm proud of myself. Congratulations, you summoned a warg wolf. So. Yeah, and it was really cool. What would you like to do as of now? Cry. Get out of this room. Can we get so, some salt, please? So you are leaving the inn. Am I hearing no. this correctly? No. Alice, are you leaving the inn? Isn't Milo doing that too? I don't what? know. I haven't asked Milo yet. I'm leaving. Okay, Alice has left the building. I guess we're leaving. Uh, Mira, um, Mira, you are choosing to stay inside of this building, I am guessing. I'm not staying on my own, mate. Okay. Is everybody leaving the building, then? Mm-hmm. Okay. So... What? I'm just gonna <sighs> pop this here for now. So, ev so you guys have all left the building. Even though I mean, I said fuck all. Oh, so, sorry. Um... Sorry, Milo, are you staying? <laughs> my bad. I apologise. Well, I was going to ask Father Bear. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, rewind, it. rewind a few seconds. Everybody apart from... I'm assuming, Alec, you're going with the rest of the group. Whoop. I'm assuming you're following Alice and Mira out of the building. Dude, I want to yep. stay with Mimi. Okay. So, Mira, Alice, and Alec are out of the building currently. Leaving... Uh, Milo, Kay, and Father Bear in the room. <laughs> Milo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Do we follow them, then? I uh, don't... <sighs> Is this an out loud statement, or are you asking something? Yeah. It, it, it's an out loud. Kay... I'm, uh, I'm saying this. Kay does not respond. As she's just kind of taken by the the strange curly wisps of energy that have been left behind by this by this wraith, Father Bear looks to Milo. Milo, are you are you quite right there? You seem a bit um, what's the word? Startled. Um, feeling a bit weak, to be honest. Have some chocolate, and he hands you a bar of chocolate. <laughs> Oh, um, thank, thank you. I'm gonna take the bar of chocolate. Are you going to eat it? That's the question. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going to break a little bit off and nibble on it. Okay, so, sorry, let me just yum, yum, yum. So as you consume some of the chocolate, and you end up, end up with bar. Where is the thing? I can't read. You end up no. poisoned. No. no. <laughs> that, that's, oh shit, that was wrong chocolate! That's nut. That's it. Um, mm. Pick a number between one and three. Oh, two. You heal three points of dexterity damage whilst eating this chocolate bar that you've been Yeah. Shall I just go back to zero, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Yum yum yum. Meow. Yum yum yum. In the meantime, Penton. How many rounds of combat happened? One. one left. Only one. <laughs> so. It's the same round of combat. Yeah, so the panic has started wearing off now at the time that this occurs. And you find Xanath. You see down, down, down the road, you're outside. In the middle of the in the middle of the pathway heading from Batzel to Mistos, and Xanus is full full force pelting it up the road right now towards where you are. And in your hand is the used remnants of an emergency exit. I look down at it very confused. 
How did I get hit? As you're questioning what happens around you, it's really low, uh, Xanis stacks over his own foot and kind of rolls the last 10-15 feet towards you. Oh my god, Xanis, you okay? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let me he, help you out. He, he, uh, takes the offer to, for you to help him up, and, uh, and he dusts himself off. Well, uh, that didn't go very well. Which part? The part where we couldn't hit it at all, or the part where I ran out screaming, cowered into a ball? And then left. Uh, a bit of everything. A bit of everything. <sighs> well, at the very least, we've got uh, some degree of uh, understanding of what we're up against. Anyway, we should, pro we should probably go back and uh, try and sleep if we can. I'm so embarrassed. And if any of them try and laugh at you for it, I will stab them in the kneecaps with my knife. Thank you. I appreciate that. I never want to spoke up again. And so the two- my whole image. <laughs> Xana starts chuckling a little bit, but it gives a, a, an agreeing nod as the two of you proceed to start making your way back to the inn. Alice, Mirror, and Alec, where have you gone? Somewhere. Wherever the like, exit leads yeah. you to that you're outside the room. I wanted to go we get salt. Now, you're, you're currently outside the building, so Mira has wandered off to go and get salt. Alice, I'm assuming you're following. And Alec is know, just kind of I'm tagging just, along. I'm oh, sorry, yeah, I, I don't mess with, along. like, ghosts. That was really, like, really out of my comfort zone, you know? But, like, I guess I'm gonna go get salts. Oh, we're gonna get salt? salt, and we're gonna make a big old salt circle! Like, isn't it's like it in the middle of the circles. night, out of character, isn't it in the middle of the night? Yep, it is like 2am. Why are we getting salt? Because salt ghosts don't like salt. What? What do you mean ghosts what? don't like salt? Because, Wouldn't there like, be salt in the kitchen, in the inn? Because, like, imagine, yeah, like, like... Like, imagine, you just like, you know, like, like, it's like 2 in the morning, you're a ghost, you're wandering the halls, and you just step in salt, like, it's not going to feel great, like, because you're barefoot. I don't want to get salt on my feet, either. You're was it barefoot? I, I wasn't looking at its feet. Okay, yeah, but, like, you, well, you wouldn't, um, okay. especially if I was, like, sticky from being there all night. Guys, I where guess... are we going to buy salt at 2am yeah, in the morning? Dude, there must be a 24 hour like Tesco nearby. No, there is not. <laughs> don't don't make Tesco canon. <laughs> Every little helps. Anyway. Anyway, no. before the stream gets copyrighted, moving swiftly <laughs> onwards. So. Uh, uh, anyway, Mira and Alice and. I'm assuming Alec is just kind of getting dragged along with. Yeah, um, well, I don't really have a choice here. I've got to go get some salt. I don't even know where the salt is. So you, guys are looking, you guys are on a quest for salt. I'm trying okay. to convince them to go back. It's not working. Yeah, <laughs> no, I mean, Alice, worst case scenario, we can go to the river, get some rocks, and you can lick them to see if they're salty. I'm not going to lick any rocks. Dude, now you're just being pessimistic. Anyway, no, I, I think I'm being smart. I've got my plus eight, six to intelligence here. <laughs> Alec, Alice, Mira, can all three mm. of you roll a, a smell based perception check, please? Oh, here we oh go. Oh my god. I smell salt. <laughs> oh my god. Can I, I take my 15 one. on this? Yeah. Natural one. Oh. That's Natural one, baby. Oof. Um, okay. I roll a smell one. shit. <laughs> my nose is my nose is too high up, or too tall to smell. All I can smell is the upper atmosphere. Or you can smell this ghostly essence. <laughs> From the clouds. Uh, I got a 25. Oh, I just the clouds. 25, and Alice, what did you roll? On. Oh. <laughs> Alice okay. is the most turned inside out. <laughs> so, uh, Alec and Alice are kind of just 
talk like the two of you are talking about salt and trying to trying to settle with Mira an agreement of uh, something. And Mira, you smell something lemon scented on the wind. Oh my god, I'm a bloodhound. I smell limes, no, lemons! <gasps> Lemons, I think you're going crazy, Mira. Well, no, lemons aren't salty, so I don't think I can help us. Okay, but didn't that weirdo do sell lemon scented candles? Because I really wanted to buy one. No one wants lemons! I want lemons! Okay, let's stop screaming, because if that guy is close by, he can hear us screaming. Oh yeah, lemons. good point. Anyway, can I just want some lemon scented candles. Okay, let's look, let's, uh... Varys, if you could smell it, you guide us to the lemon scented candles and we okay. stealth. Oh, it's stealth time. It's stealth. Can I Can use mislead? Uh, sure. <clears throat> Alec and Alice, because Mira is using mislead, I'm assuming you got. Mira, are you going with the mislead? With the mislead yeah. Okay, yeah, so until I, I know what's going you, on. I need all three of you to roll stealth. Mira, I need you to roll me concentration as you're doing this. Okay. Elf the boys. And I will get you guys to keep all of your rolls for a second. Remember what they are, but I'm going to come back to you. Where so, does concentration on the thing? Uh, it'll be con. Oh, it's just, oh, I'll, I'll concentrate. Ha, <laughs> got it. So whilst you, got, you guys have your rolls and just sit there and wait politely for me to come back, um, back at the inn, Anton and Xanus have eventually managed to return back to the inn where Milo K and Father Bear are still kind of just hanging about at the moment. Milo sees the two enter oh. and realises the others must have fucking wandered off. You're still here. I kind of thought you'd, I kind of hope you'd come back to bed. Well, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I was hoping that Mira... Alice and Alec had followed Xanis to go and find you, to be honest, but now it's evident that they've fucking run off somewhere. Yeah, I mean, no, that was wishful thinking. Yeah, I mean, Penton's kind of got a point there. When do you expect the three, expect the two geniuses to use their brains and actually, you know, do something intelligent? Uh... Minutes for super intelligence, and they used it to go find salt and send you. They're not exactly quiet either, because I can see- Look, you can see them through the window, they're literally creeping towards the crypt. Look, to the and Zan crypt. Zan Zan Zanis points across the, um, out of, out of the front door, where you can see a very tall purple man, a Shadarkai elf in very, 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 like, obvious green clothing, and a got- and a crowd- uh, like, Crouched slash half squatted crab walking mirror going towards the entrance of the crypt across the other side of the building. I am metaphorically going to kill them. I mean. Try me, bitch. Mirror, shut up, you're halfway across the fucking town. <laughs> Try me, bitch! <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> the first thing Penn's gonna do is gonna walk over to where he dropped his sword and pick it up. Okay. Yeah, pick up Devil Star. I'm not even gonna fucking charge after them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to metaphorically kill you, Mira. I'm oh, going to I'm metaphorically kill you. I'll kill so I'm myself. going to kill you. Just to upset <laughs> you. So, Milo. Pardon? I said, why stop it metaphorically? It would save us a whole lot of time, effort, frustration. Ah, oh, but then you have to bring the milf lady with you. <laughs> This is bearable. Anyway, so yeah, Father Bear, Kay, and Milo basically depart immediately. But Xanis, Xanis goes back upstairs to go and grab something from his bag. Penton, are you following or are you staying in this room? Or are you going with the others? Would you like me to follow? He doesn't seem to care either way. I'll wait for him to come back down. Okay. So... Xanis comes back down after a few minutes with a red, like a red paper tube looking thing. And a small lighter. And at the end of this tube thing is a fuse. 
Well, I'm ready. And that's what's that. Well. By the description, it looks like a piece of dynamite. It's not dynamite, it's a flare. It's a flare, okay. Why does it have a fuse? Anyway, because it's one of those ones that you put down and it goes boop on its own. Right. Like, like Papa Fox always told me, emergency flares are useful. Oh. I have a character though, you did describe that as a red tube. That was the point of it. The that was the point of it. It looks like a stick of dynamite. <laughs> It looks suspiciously like a stick of dynamite, but... Well, gosh. Xanis lights the back end of it, and the flare fires out of the tube, highlighting everything across the port in a in a red light. I hope we went outside first. Yes. <laughs> that was not discussed. He would not have fired this inside the building. From what Are you sure? Right, I am certain about that. He if he had this. an no. autism moment, he may have done. I mean... Uh, he is my definitely, definitely my uh, brainchild, but no, he is by the doorway as he is doing this, and it bathes the entire port in a red light. And my Milo, oh, you guys, yeah, Milo, K, and Father Bear, as you're sprinting past, you, this red light bathes the in, bathes the port as you can see it fire out of the inn. And as you're sprinting past to catch up with the others who are still trying to pink panther their way into the crypt, um, you find the- you spot out of your peripheral- I'm just gonna go for Milo here, because he's got the highest passive perception out of- Yo, um, yo, yo. Well, okay, yeah, no, definitely. No. It's definitely Milo. Uh, you see the male Gareth that was helping the, uh, the pottery woman- and the uh, shop, the uh, weaponsmith, the male Ronso that you saw previously, the two of them kind of um, having a very quiet conversation that looks like they're trying not to be seen. But suddenly, big red light in the sky go burr, so they are expo they are currently exposed. But you only get a short view as you sprint past. Meanwhile. Back over, back over near the crypt, Mira, Alice, and Alec. All you're aware of is there's suddenly a bright red light that's appeared in the sky, and I need to know what your stealth rolls were. Uh, eight, eight. Twenty-four. And Alice. Eight. Okay, so eight, two, eight. so two of you technically failed. One of you succeeded thanks to the mislead, <laughs> but you managed to get to the crypt entrance. And then there's this big bright red light that suddenly appears out of nowhere, coming from the other side of the town. But the scent of lemons is now strong enough that all three of you can smell it. Lemon? Are you going to enter the crypt? No. We should- no, no, we should go back and, and get the rest, and then come back. Yeah, about That's that. As you turn your head around, Alec, you see Milo looking really peeved off. With Kay and oh. Father Bear sprinting across the port towards towards I, the three of you, <laughs> I'm gonna Milo, separate from my missile. We were just about to go get you. Oh, the, what did you what did you just say, Mira? She's I'm separating from, from my missile. Just in case he punches me. Guys, can anyone smell lemons? Mira. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Why? Big, 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 because. Lemon. Oh my god. <laughs> Milo's oh, been infected what? by the spores. No! Mira? Yes. Where's the salt? No, oh, it's lemons now. We're chasing lemons. Mira, come here. Okay. My Miss Lead goes to Milo. <laughs> I'm just like behind Alec. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You said your your stealth was 24, right? Uh huh. My passive perception is 25, Mira. He can, Milo can see where your shadow is, Mira. Are... Milo walks over to your to the shadow and basically bonks Mira over the head. Hi. I protect Mira with my giant You get bonked so over the head. <laughs> okay, okay, well, it takes roll, the bonk for roll me. Hit. Oh, okay. You've got to hit me first. 
Oh right shit, there. what am I... <laughs> the bad question is what I'm walking you over the head with? Yeah. His nice fist? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, um... Shit, what would the uh... My plus five power rod! <laughs> That's a nat 20. Mm. Well, bye Alec! Ow. Mm. Ow. Please don't roll damage. Um... <laughs> I mean... It's it would just be one plus your strength modifier, isn't it? Oh, what's your strength modifier? At the moment, it's zero because I'm still under the effects of the reset part. No. No. Actually, that so it would be I'll double. Just... <laughs> so it'd be two. Yeah. Oh, Milo! I hit him with the back. You hit me back? Yeah, I hit you back in the head. Grab Alex's arm. <laughs> you, you, you can try. Uh, As that's it. a. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> 17 to hit. You miss. I miss. I miss your. I miss your head. I, I just. Kay is going to uh, individually look at all of you, and I want all of you to make me charisma saves as this small child proceeds to... <sighs> no, she's got a Cassandra! No! Proceeds, uh, to roll in proceeds to roll intimidation. Charisma oh, save? No. Ooh! Non-magical. Guys, I rolled well. Guys, we're well, right She's Cassandra's child, we're facts. 19. Woohoo! Anyone? I hope Kay has proficiency in intimidation. She doesn't. Aww. She doesn't need it. Doesn't oh. So Xanis is not involved. Is not involved in this, and neither is Penton. Because neither of them are there. Kay is not involved with this, and it's not directed at Father Bear because he's standing behind her. So Alec, what was your save? Nineteen. That's a fail. What? Alice. Anyone? That's a fail. Oh, Mira. Oh, oh wait, do we sixteen? No. That's a fail. It's a non-magical save. Oh my god, Milo. my daughter. It's a fail. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all. Right, so no. As Kay turns around with the most scolding possible glare on her expression. She rolled a nat 20, 23 total, and oh glares God, at you all. Her. Can you stop acting like a bunch of kids, and can we work out what the fuck that smell of lemons is? This is it's a, a lemon. It's the- well, Cat it's most likely going to be the, the quote-unquote exorcist merchant who was selling lemon-scented candles. Yeah! At the, the mention salt? of this, you see a head pop out of the crypt. Did somebody oh. mention evil? <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> diabolical. Lemon Does Mira stop? Mira, do you candles. start fucking running towards him? No, I'm not gonna um, run towards him. Okay, I'm, just I'm, raising, I'm just raising my hands in the air and going, Lemons! Milo grabs Mira. There is now a Asimar in dark red in dark red robes with a with a very familiar symbol on it. And he looks at you all, kind of confused as to why you suddenly jumped out of your skin. Father Bear pulls his battle axe out. In preparation. Wait, wait, let me buy some candles first. Sir, I walk you... over. Are you? I walk the... over to him. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm, I'm buying candles from him. Okay, I you walk up to him. him. Why, yes, oh. would you like some candles? What kind I of candles would, would you like? I, I have lemon no. scented, I have cherry scented, and I have Malboro scented, a new favourite of... Oh my Malboro. god, Milo scented? Oh my gosh, Malboro how, scented candles! How can a man who sells candles be evil? Evil? Hey, I want, Why I want would I be evil? And like you see his leg just stick out and he is wearing heels. Look, he's just- Oh, you just... are adorable. Oh my god. Yeah. Wait, wait, but I wanna wait. flirt with him. For context, oh for context, this is just that 
a person's head and a leg sticking out of a doorway, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna... Hey, you doing anything after after this? Yeah. Roll seduction. Oh, damn. Natural 20. Which is what total? Oh, 22. Come on. That is an unfortunate situation to be in, as it does not land. And it was a natural 20! That's a shame. What does he say that then? I'll try, try and... He, uh, he once again- he, rep he ends up basically repeating his off the candles that are on offer. Clearly not getting the point of it. Sir, how much are your candles? Yes. Why, yes, they're ten- they are ten gil per lemon scented candle, and the leg, like, kicks out again. Like it's doing some sort of, like, high kick dance. We have lemon scented for ten gil, with the Malvara scented of forty gil apiece. I'll tell you entire stock. Milo looks over at Father Bear. Father Bear looks very confused. I want two, two lemon scented, please. I I'm buying all of them. I I'll, I'll kill you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I will kill you and become a lemon. The lemon, lemon god. The lemon. Uh, I'll, I'll join him in his. Is anybody dark actually going to question why him. there is a why the Asimar, this Asimar man in cultist clothing, is currently sticking his head? And How do I see him? You can see his head, and I have dark vision. Yeah, that's the only thing sticking out the doorway right now. <laughs> I'm gonna question this whole situation. Well, I'm once I have you. a couple lemon scented candles, then I'll start questioning, but not yet. Why are you, I'm, are you I'm flying candles from a man sending them out of a crypt? Well, because they might be organic. Well, because I want candles and I have money. That's how, that's how business works, Milo. Out of a crypt. It, I, uh, you oh, know. you must you must think I'm evil. Oh, my my apologies. There must there appears to be some sort of mistake here. And he opens the door, and it is in fact the same sort of robe that you are familiar with from when you spotted the Lillian Beast cult before. But something seems a bit off here, because if he was a member of the cult, surely he would have tried to murder one of you at this point as they have attacked you on sight multiple times before. He is not doing that, which is why Father Bear is probably so confused. Sir, do you have any business partners? No? Why would I have business partners? Ugh. Take all my candles. Like Ugh. I want- I want the candles. Do but I have M1. candles yet? Has he given me the candles? I'm giving him money. Has he given me the ha candles? Are you giving him 20 gil for the two candles? I'm giving him 20 gil for two candles. Okay, well, you know how I will put it in your inventory for you then. Give me a second. I know. But yes, you now have two uh, candles. Oh my god. How do they smell? Lemon, <coughs> lemony. I, I want, I, I want, I want, do you say they're 10 each and then 40 for the Marlboro? Yes. Oh my god, okay, I want I want five lemon and cherry and then three more. <laughs> so that's two hundred and twenty. This has become a lemon candles? buying episode. A lemon candle buying episode. I know. Okay. No, uh, Milo, why are we buying candles? I don't know. Why wouldn't we buy candles? I thought Mira, we had can you put, can you put... Mira, can you put what's in yeah. the um? Can you put it in the chat, please? Oh yeah, sorry. Two in the morning. We can't buy salt anywhere, but we can buy candles from this crypt girl. Okay. Okay. Uh, listen. I don't know who you are, but we don't exactly have a good experience with people with uh the emblem that you are currently wearing. Oh, this old thing. I. I thought they were giving me free clothing. I must have walked through the wrong door. My apologies. Let me take off this ugh, uncomfortable thing anyway. It's itchy. And then he takes it off and hat. He takes it off and is, seems to be wearing a much more common looking merchant attire and hands the whole robe to Milo. Can I have Milo, it? Milo takes it. Alec, Alec reaches for it from Milo. No. Why not? 
someone make I this can't. make sense? Why is there a merchant selling candles out of crypt at 2 a.m.? <laughs> I mean, we probably woke him up with how loud we're talking. It doesn't make sense. Does anybody want to roll a history check to see if they actually understand why this person is here? Sure. Well, he, wasn't he someone for the uh, exorcism? Not that well, I'm very good at exorcism. There you go, never mind. Never mind, Milo has got it here. I, I remember everything! <laughs> Can we not roll a history check? I wrote it down! You may, but I'm pretty sure Milo has just stated out loud in frustration do you want to repeat yourself, Milo, in a slightly less explosive tone? He is the exorcist that was summoned by the mayor, if you oh. remember. Right, no more candle buying, let's leave. Oh wait, we should like ask this guy about ghost. We were uh, like, you ghost, you know ghost? Oh, you mean this very annoying wraith I've been trying to purge for the last week or two? Ugh, this thing is stubborn. I've been trying to use my candles to try and scare it away, but it doesn't seem to be working very well. <laughs> you didn't have the cherry ones. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, we, we found it and it went through me. It felt really weird. Hmm. Well, perhaps I should light some more candles. No, I don't think that's how this works. And as he goes back in, candles in hand, and lights up more candles. Oh my god. You may follow him into the crypt or not. But why are you like oh, in a yeah. crypt? I mean I, I like him in. I like dead Milo, people, but why are you in a crypt? All these candles, what is this man? <laughs> so as you enter, I, I follow. Yeah. Is, who is? Is <laughs> everybody following? Down. Is there anybody no. who's staying behind? I'm staying outside. I'm, I'm staying, staying outside. outside with with Milo. Okay, I still so want to bang the, the candle to show. Father I, I'm, Bear. I'm, st I'm still looking to bang. Yeah, okay, so, so Alex following. Time. So Alex following. Alice, are you following? No, I'm staying outside. I don't trust this candle man. Okay, so Mira and Alec are the. Uh, no, I'm I'm staying in. with Mimi. I'm staying with Mimi. Are you yeah. sure about that? Okay, so it's just yes. Alec. Alec. <laughs> Alec's going to get smashed. <laughs> so Father Bear accompanies Alec in just in case something goes wrong. Oh, yeah, thanks yeah. for the best. Threesome! I'm just gonna move swiftly on from that. Um, so, after a while, Xanis and Penton finally catch up, and Xanis' nose immediately crumbles at the smell of lemons. Ugh, why is it smell lemony outside of a crypt? Can somebody- why, why does Milo look like he's about to have a stroke? Can somebody please Lemon explain candles. what's going on? And where is the time So- there? You remember that exorcist guy? Yeah. The one that we believed was part of the cult? Uh-huh. Uh, technically, yes, but he's... I'm gonna be honest, I don't think he's mentally up for it. Maybe... Wait, Mer I, I remember my dad telling me <laughs> a while ago that merchants... Merchants have tried to sell things to the guild and got inducted or indoctrinated because they, they have, like, both of their entrances right next to each other. Yeah, I think that's what happened to this guy. He just wants to sell candles and perform this exorcism, and he thinks that the candles will help banish the ghost or something. He did say he went through the wrong door, but it's okay, guys. I've got loads of candles now. And he's gone through the crypt. He's... Why? He's in with Alec, yeah. I... Xanis immediately sprints into the crypt, leaving everybody else behind in the uh, in his dust. So the only people outside now are Penton, Alice, Kay, Milo, and Mira. Fuck, 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 fuck. Where's Father- wait, I thought Father- the Father, father Bear went in, sorry. Father I didn't went in. pay attention to that part. Well, I now guess we, we should choice, go in. We? we either let him die in there, or Why we Why I said three times, so... <laughs> and now Xanis is in there. Um, ugh, questionable situation. Um, so is everybody else following in? And I'm choice yes. now. Okay. So... Wait, we've all changed our mind? 
Oh, oh, oh we can't just leave Dennis in there well, on there on his own. One of us has a death wish and the rest of us can't seem to just part with them. So, oh yes. my gosh. Penton, we don't have to go in if we don't want to, you know? That's strange coming from you. But That's I have been because Dennis is in there. And he means let's, go, let's, come, let's just go. No. Okay, so, well, if everyone's going in, I guess I'll follow. I'm about to stay out here by myself. Alright, so. This is going to seem really dumb, but I would like you guys to just bear with me here. So, I'm going to roll a d4. What is that? That is, a, that is an indeterminate result that I shall not share. Final. We're fighting the both and we were gonna go back to bed, and now we're in the crypt. I don't, I don't yes. know, Panton. Now we're in the crypt with some strange man. Ah, oh, love that. But at least Where we got did you come from? I just want to say <laughs> that Alec. These, uh, the first group is just Alec. Uh, wait. Just Alec. Just uh, Alec. So Alec, Alec, Father Bear, and the Candle Man. Alec, Father Bear, and Candle. Xanus is in there on his own currently. The rest of the group, you are Team Camp with two A's. Just take a moment to process that. Team Camp? K. A. K. Alice, will... Alstromira, Milo, and Penton. Camp. Oh, this is going to be the death of me. Oh, I know. I thought, I thought we had all met up already. No, you're, 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 you'd be, you're so much deeper in than us. We literally just I started we just entering. I no, we it's a massive, it's a pretty large crypt for a small place. You but ran anyway, into a fucking crypt. Anyway, on your own. group two, you you come across With four different pathways in the crypt. Are you staying together mm. or are you separating? Because none of these locations are lit. Uh, sniff the air. Can we follow the scent of lamp? Oh wait, no, Mira's got a fucking cat. The whole crypt. I have people stock. The whole crypt smells like lemon-scented candles. Oh, but can we smell the Balbara candles? Uh, eeny meeny miny mo. Oh. Do I have a spell for this? Question mark. Well. I'm gonna... Can I use my dancing lights? Yeah, but that's not going to help you because you don't know which way Xanus or the other two went. Or other three, sorry. <laughs> How far ahead are they? Far enough ahead that you can't hear their footsteps. This uh, is going to be fucking brilliant. Um. Oh no. Thinking, thinking. Is Kay with us? Yes. <clears throat> oh my god, Kay, look into the spirit realm. <laughs> Milo, what about Kay specifically? Are you um? Uh, I'm gonna ask. Can she? Can is she able to hear them out? Uh, she will. Uh, she in response, she is going to attempt to do so. Uh, is anybody giving her? Oh wait, she has a bunch on that naturally, doesn't she? A bunch mm -hmm. of hearing and base, small base. Uh, that's a thirteen and a seventeen on the dice, so twenty nine total. Um. She can kind of hear pitter patter noises, but they're echoing a lot. Oh, there must be a big wide space in here for that. Mm. What do you think, guys? Which one? One, two, or three? Well, left is always right, so I vote left. They're off. It's like four different directions. <gasps> one, two, three, or four. Let's go down number three, I don't know. Wait, oh my god, there must be a way. Well, is there, is there like anything on the ground that what indicates is the ground where Xanus is without? Yeah, exactly. Like, in the, in the ground, there are two different dust paths. One goes, but the, the initial dust path, oh my god, this is interesting. Um, well, this could be interesting. Um, so there are four paths. There appears to be only one dust, like one recently disturbed footprint trail. That one. So you can either follow it or choose to ignore it and go down a different pathway. Wait, That's wearing shoes, right? Hmm. 
Dan's wearing shoes, right? So I therefore... don't think he's wearing shoes, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure there's not a trend, yeah, Alex is. is. There is there is a shoe, yes. There are shoe prints. Alex wearing shoes. I think yeah. I remember seeing bare feet like that. There are Ugh. four there are four shoe prints heading down that direction. I, unless you are very avidly familiar with the shape of their of Xanus's boots, <laughs> I highly doubt that you will be able to discern them. Yeah, okay, okay but want, right? should we just go down the street? I, I, I can, however, tell My feet you are huge. that there it's are bare paw prints across the ground as Father Bear does not wear shoes. That way. Oh, that makes it easier. Way. This way. Are they, all, are they all in the same panel? <laughs> yes, they are all going in the same, same direction. Okay. Yeah, that way. Okay, so the party takes pathway one. You reach another. You reach another. Uh, another bend of four pathways. Uh, <laughs> this time, there are two pathways that appear to have fresh footprints. Oh no! One direction appears to have three different sets of footprints, and the bear trail continues on that way. However, one of the paths has one set of footprints that look relatively recent. Oh shit! Don't you know you never split the party? I'm willing. I I'm gonna say that Father Bear's group went down this way. Could it be possible that Zanis then went down this way? Zanis chose the wrong path. Yeah, I mean, there's no guarantee they all went the same way. Ah. Oh. I would like Although to say at this point, whilst you're trying to work it out. You can smell fresh lemons coming down the pathway that um, Father Bear's footprints are, almost as though someone has lit multiple fresh candles in that direction. I mean, oh, there's the right way. <laughs> But not down the path at 31. No. Should some of, should some of us go to Father Bear and the others see where this one leads? Um, I, I think we should go towards Father Bear. I I, I feel like that's a good idea. It's a fret. Okay, are you you're looking at me confused? Yeah. The whole crypt smells like lemons, but it is the most fret the most fresh and recent smell. He's been lighting them as he went. Yes, he has. Yeah, he thinks so. Keep the ghosts away. Did we see any on our way here then? Yes. Okay. None of you have chose to observe your surroundings, but yes, there are lemon scented candles stuck onto the walls via their melted wax. I would like to say at this point, Kay holds her hand up to the party to stop for a second. What is it? Uh, there's footsteps coming towards us. Um. What? And you just hear this. As Xanus proceeds to sprint up the path and run straight into the wall, a little a little way down from you. Oh my god! Ow. No. And he takes four points of bludgeoning damage from the force of the impact. Oh, his poor nose. You okay, kid? Um. Uh, <laughs> my nose. Oh, my what nose happened? I ran into a wall, Mira. No, expect? I mean, why are we running? Because... I think I may have worked out why this ghost keeps being such a big problem. Look at how many candles there are stuck on the wall. Oh my god, is it summoning it? Well... I think it hates scented candles. That's why it's pissy. Kay, Kay looks befuddled, but she looks like she's about to start laughing. Wait, so does that mean that this ghost is stuck here because of a, it's vengeful? Or it didn't manage to get all the way to the afterlife before some it started haunting or something like that? And then it's be, been kept here. Maybe, after, maybe its business has already been finished, but it's being kept here because it hates the smell of lemons. What the f- <laughs> And at this point, he starts laughing. As it starts to make sense why the merchant, there there are two, well, 
it suddenly starts to click for a fair few of you that, hold on a minute, the only person that's really been injured so far, or attacked, are merchants. And if this guy, this exorcist guy, is actually a merchant, then we're both silly. Fuck. Oh my god. But only one of them has been present in this crypt the entire time. Okay. Which is the ev- which... As K proceeds to state, which means that this crypt is the ep like the epicenter, the center point of where uh, of where the wraith's being kept, and if it's getting angry at this merchant mm -hmm. that Alec and Father Bear have wandered off with, then it hates oh. Lemon. It's being kept here by lemon scented candles. This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. It really is. Which means that they're, which means that they're probably accelerating the rate at which it's coming back after we fought it, if it's coming back. Oh shit! And K proceed. K and Zanis both immediately start to press, like sprint full force. Yeah, same pathway. here. Same here. Meanwhile, can I, be, can I use bouncing lights to keep the uh, place lit? Go for putting it. out the fucking candles as we go. Okay. Yes. <laughs> sure. So Penton uses dancing lights and starts putting out candles as the lights are following along. Meanwhile, oh, in, oh, oh, in, a, in a deeper part of the crypt, Alec, mm -hmm. Father Bear, and the Candleman are currently heading towards a the deepest point of the crypt. Well, I would certainly imagine that this is enough candles to keep any horrible ghosts at, at bay. Anyway, Give, give me a hand. Light some more over there, will you? There's not enough in here. And the entire wall is basically just plastered with candles that are all lit at the same time. I think I think that's enough, actually. Also, I don't think candles keep ghosts away. I think if they did, then there wouldn't be ghosts because people would just light candles. But no, these are made of a special anti-ghost anti wax. I remember seeing a... Oh, what was it? There was another merchant I met that was selling candles that dr that drove away were rats and werewolves. It was quite an interesting experience. Although they seem quite rare in nature, but we need to light more more of these anti anti ghost lemon candles. I mean, they smell nice, so I can't complain. I like the candles. Yes. Okay, so you are lighting... <laughs> you are lighting light candles. I'm lighting more candles. And this is what you will be doing for the next few minutes. As the mm -hmm. other the other group is running through the through the halls of the crypt, Penton suddenly remembers something. Well, we're still running, Pen so I guess that yes. right. So, uh, uh, I may have fucked up. What? You know how I said I was tra traveling merchant? And you all know already I'm a con man. Yeah. So, I do a lot of snake oil routines. God, this is a long canyon. canyon? <laughs> Cavern. Well, I may have, I may have at one point convinced someone that, uh, some shitty candles that I found would ward off ghosts. It was a while ago, I didn't recognize his face. This <laughs> might be my fault. Uh, I'm very sorry. <laughs> <sighs> the voice is so small fucking world! <laughs> yeah, no, okay. a small, it's almost a small world in the worst ways for me. It really is. Why is your fucking <laughs> luck, dude? <laughs> what has happened? I know. <laughs> what happened? I'm like ready to fucking start crying. I can't. <laughs> I'm so confused. Playing. A while ago, Penton had a bunch of candles from that he got from a mission, I believe. That, oh. Or something like that. Huh? Yes, Penton had a bunch of candles as part of part of his uh, history, if you will. And he managed to convince a merchant that the candles he was selling were ghost repelling. And what Penton has just explained oh, is that this may be no. the same merchant that he sold those Penton. candles to. 
Oh my! So as you're God. running down the hallway, the player hit the game. So I, you are the game. So you managed to. Thank you, Mira. Uh, contain Xanus. <laughs> Xanus proceeds to throw a pebble behind him. <laughs> That's a nat twenty. That hits you straight in the forehead. Ow! As it goes past. Not hard enough to injure you, but hard enough to get the point. <laughs> anyway, let's go find the merchant, the bear, and the idiot. So you, ma so for context, back back with the rest of the group. You you hear this rapid slamming of footsteps. And um, as you arrive, you find you find yourselves in a room. Filled with these lemon scented candles, with Alec and Fa Father Bear standing there looking very concerned and confused, with Alec and the candle merchant lighting more candles. One of these walls is completely plastered in melted lemon scented candles. You guys and all coming, of your, I would like to state all of your buffs are gone, but whoever has taken con, strength, or dex damage. That is still present as you not have, have oh, not had no, a full day's rest yet. No, I'm not. Oh, rest, rest in peace, me. Hooray for luck points. But well, you guys weren't coming. Uh, this guy wants us to light more candles. So... Why? The fuck? I don't know. Did you follow him into the fucking crypt? You fucking idiot! Oh, shut up. Xanus starts laughing to himself as, um... But he stops laughing very shortly after the fact, after you see uh, this section of space in front of the merchant start wobbling aggressively. Get away! Make that move! Incoming! Aha! I have found the ghost! Now to exercise. And he starts doing this really weird, <laughs> wacky <laughs> dance. <laughs> Rolls an 11 on performance. Star jumps. Basically, Can yeah, I... he starts doing star jumps in a circle. Didn't realize what exercise, exorcism was. was Can I also exercise? exercise? Oh, if everyone's doing it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it too. I'm, I wanna dance. So I mean, yeah. Dude, I'm rolling performance. Oh, Milo okay. stands there, absolutely disappointed and in shock. Oh, oh my god, my my D twenty no, the roll button's gone. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, hey Siri, pick a number between one and twenty. Wow. Oh god, my roll twenty's just gone. Hang on. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take in my fifteen. I rolled a thirteen on. Uh, so oh. uh, twenty five on performance. Wow, Mary, you're so good. So, <laughs> the candle merchant, Mira, I'm assuming Alec, you're joining in on this as well. Yeah, yeah, I rolled a 13 on before this. A 13, so the three of you are now star jumping in a circle around a, around a small glass jar of salt. But it's just in the middle of this ring of lemon scented oh. candles that looks like a porcupine kind That's of lemon we were looking scented. for. We were looking for salt. We were looking for and now we found salt. So yeah. So all the the naysayers who said don't go into the crypt I found salt. Apart, not not including Mira or Alec or Candleman in this. Can everybody else please make me a perception check as something is happening? But um it's not immediately noticeable to the people that are star jumping in a circle. Um, <laughs> perception. What has this session come to? Why am I still this, is uh, okay. this is what happens when you free roll. <laughs> this is what happens when I free form and just go with what feels like a smart idea at the time. You people are lucky that Zan's got a better nature. People are unlucky that I didn't have a better nature beforehand, otherwise, not. <laughs> I'm okay. I just want to cry, dude. I'm assuming this all went down before I met the party. Yes. I would imagine so, unless you want to, unless that's a recent thing. Nah, it's not recent thing. Oh, because I always have a proof for it. Okay, so... Xanus, I'm not rolling for this person, because that's who it's relating to. Phantom, what did you roll? Uh, Is it on the, on the uh, pad still? Yeah. 
these things like that before. Alright, okay, anyway, I'll come back to you in a second then. Okay. Um, Bye. Alice. 18. So, that. Milo. 33. Okay, yep. Okay, so that's uh, that's that, that's that, and Penton. No. So Xanis, Father Bear, Alice, and Milo start noticing that Kay is getting a bit on edge. Like, you know when you know when dogs get really, really aggressive when they notice that something is going horribly wrong. And like hair standing on end, like ready to ready to defend, kind of energy. That is what Kay is currently doing. As from the jar coming out from the jar of salt are two large ethereal hands that grab Alec and Mira, yank them towards the jar, and then they vanish into thin air. Well, that fucking sucks. Oh, too large what? Two large hands. That yank us into a jar? You are not currently in the room. Plane. Mira and Alec, please go on mute. Oh. mute <laughs> leaving, leaving the rest of the group Goodbye. in this room, looking, looking at each other like, what just happened? The candle merchant flees from the room. You fucking coward. I don't get paid enough for this shit! This you don't get paid works. at all! Anyway. So, there are now six of you left in this room, around a very angry-looking jar of salt that appears to have a small gemstone or something within it. As you can see, oh. a red sparkling from the inside of the jar. Do you approach the jar of salt? Oh. I don't want to. I don't want to. We, we could just we could just leave. I'm so tempted to. I mean, I, I wouldn't be a better person. I wouldn't be against the idea of just walking out of this room. Alice, what do you think? <sighs> Should we leave the jar? Uh, I would. I would Milo. like to. I would like to uh, do something. What would you like to do? <laughs> Can I? <laughs> Roll an arcane check. <laughs> What's Go the for it. Roll I don't... An check <laughs> oh, that's shit! Sad just like my mental shock. state at this just point in fucking time. Do do, does it? Um, <laughs> sorry. Does it give me the plus two the Vieira and magic yes, thing? The Vieira and magic. Yay! Thing would come well, it doesn't really it. help me because I rolled so incredibly bad that roll I rolled bondage. a nine. Oh, with advantage. Yep, because Xanus will be helping you here, because he is currently standing there looking very confused. Shit, how do I math again? Um, 15. That's a success. You realise that the, the item that is in this jar of salt is the physical object that this soul is attached to outside of whatever is pissing off inside of this crypt, a.k.a. the candles. Um, that gemstone is what the soul, the, the ghost is linked to. So, what do we do? So, it's the point where the ghost is strongest, then. I would assume. Well... I imagine if we approach, we're gonna get to vanish as well. Uh... Oh, what do you think we should do? You're a... You're a learned warrior. <laughs> You know, so this whole thing before, what should we do? Well, um, I'm pretty sure that they have just been pulled into the ethereal plane. Oh, that's not good. Right. So, I'm not really sure what to do at this position, but I suppose we should probably go in after them? Probably. Milo, take, Milo, Milo approaches the, the, the jar and just says, take me. You are prevented from moving. As no! the bear grips hold of your arm. Milo, perhaps uh, shooting the jar open so we can actually get to the gemstone might be our one ticket back, depending on what uh, what situation is occurring in there. Mm. 
<laughs> Let's see if we can get the twister before it grabs us. <laughs> Are you going to uh, shoot the jar? Yeah. Well, can I shoot the jar? <laughs> yes, you may shoot the jar. Shout for shout the blast, everybody. I, I'll do this with my handgun, <laughs> not the heavy rifle. Good idea. Uh, that is, uh, if you're wanting me to roll to hit, that is a 22. Yep, you hit. Yep, so the jar shatters on impact, salt flies everywhere, and the candles are quelled. Oh no. Oh, Meaning that there that is no so more scent, there is no more lemon scent in this room. However, we the need gemstone... to grab the candles, right? But well, not the candles. The candles are out. The gemstone is still sitting in the room. I'll never eat we need to grab the gemstone. That's what we needed to grab the gemstone. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Give me a second. I need to move the mic so you can hear Penton because he's talking, but he's not being picked up. Penton, how dare you talk in the session? Out of character. Has anyone been able to hear me when I've been talking? Besides when I shouted at Alec. Um, you've been a bit quiet, to be honest. Yeah, the mic is not. The mic is. The mic is on the, the other end of the room from me. Okay, well, I don't like, really have a. Position. You are so incredibly quiet, and it cuts out on occasion. Okay, well, what here you, we go. When you're just talking. Try that. I can hear. Yes. Okay, this is where we're putting the mic now. It looks like a tiny dinosaur in the way that its neck is stretched up right now. Anyway, moving swiftly onwards from tiny dinosaurs, um... I'll never eat another lemon as long as I live. Uh, I will go and attempt to. Okay, you're walking up towards the gem. Is anybody going to attempt to stop Milo from going to grab the gem? Actually, no. Actually, wait. I am waiting. Mira. Who is not here. <laughs> oh, fuck! Does anyone have a magical hand? Mm. That'd be really handy about right now. Xanis turns to Milo. Um, well, I don't, but I remember he overhearing, overhearing from someone at the guild that rabbit folk have magic hands. Penton, you should be able to get it, right? Uh, um, no, not, not those kind of hands. Uh oh. I mean, I could get it. I'm the fastest. Run and grab? Uh, sure. And Xanus proceeds to ninja dodge past these arms and touches the gemstone and gone. Welp. We should have been in contact, shouldn't we? Is that a word? Just... Kay walks up and just touches the gem. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's just... <laughs> uh, this is so fucking stupid. I reside myself. I hate straight. everything, dude. And it's gonna walk forward and touch the gem. Yo, ha wait, hold on. How much damage have to have Mira and Alec have done to their MP? Or are we gonna find that out in just a moment? We'll find out in a moment. The longer you okay, I'm gonna go to find out. Okay, so the only, go to the about that. Okay, the only two people in this room now are Father Bear and Alice. Alice, you've watched you've watched everyone walk up to the gemstone, touch it, and disappear. Are you gonna touch the gemstone? Uh, uh, <laughs> um oh, can I ask Father Bear if I should touch a gemstone? Father Bear just looks confused as to what the hell is happening. Well yeah, Well me too. I wouldn't Father say Bear, it's familiar. Would you like to touch a gemstone? <laughs> After you. <laughs> After you, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna touch a gemstone. And you are teleported shortly after Father Bear arrives. And, um. I would say during that time. Do, do we at least get to, like, act out what happens during that time? Because I wouldn't just be sitting there. No, you've been. Oh, I'm fun. about to get onto that. You've been killed by a wraith at that time. We did a for a long time. I've been killed in what? Well, yeah, that's, that's so, really fun. That yeah, seems that's legit. Great. The wraith. <laughs> yeah. Was on layer three what? of the ethereal plane. 
question. <laughs> How many layers are there on the ethereal plane? <laughs> if you say three, I'm gonna scream. If you say three, I'm. If you say four, I'm six. just gonna go and cry. Four. Six. There six. are six layers total. Okay. Oh, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. It's bad. It's a bad so time. Bad. It's oh, bad. bad. If oh, I was God. DM, they'd both me. already be dead. I think I'll take it. Because I would have counted how long it took for this conversation to happen and everyone to come into the uh, onto well, the plane. Well, while this conversation is happening, we are be. doing. We are. We are not just sitting there waiting for you to get get here. I'll no, you spent the last hour long. So as you get, as you arrive, you find that. Both Mira and Alec have spent the last however long being ch basically chased around the entire place by this wraith, as they are currently unable to really get any leeway on this thing, as each time you go to attack it, it keeps shifting planes, or shifting from the plane it should be in to a different part of the plane. So when you try and hit well, it, it goes from layer really 1, great. or layer 3, sorry, to layer 4, and so on as you currently do not have the ability to move planes. Why not? If it's in the same plane as us, then I can cast, um... I can attempt to cast the same thing One that I D6. cast before. Dark hole. Oh. Then it can't move! Well... How many turns has it been? Oh no... In How the time it's taken this deliberation... <laughs> It took you all, about half a minute. Oh dear, you actually did. So, five rounds. Five rounds. Okay, which I'm means gonna roll Zanis, I will roll the 5d6. Oh, okay, you roll the 5d6 now. I will roll the 5d6. <laughs> I'll roll the 5d6, you know. No, I am so, Spartacus. Oh. Wait, what? No, you are not Spartacus. Anyway. Who's what? Uncultured swine. Anyway. Mood. Xanus will have been here for about th about three rounds less than you. So Two rounds. Oh Astra, Mira, and Alec, you both take you have both taken sixteen points of damage to your MP so far. Sixteen. Oh, that's, fine. Okay, that's not too bad. I've Which got means I can live less. Has taken a grand total of thirty-five points of damage to his HP. Um, right, uh, Sanis no doesn't magic have magic. <laughs> well, roll on shit, folks. Oh, we've got an hour. Left. Okay. Oh, I need a wee so bad. No, I can't hold it. Oh, oh, God. oh no. Oh right, I rolled three times. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I rolled quite good. Okay. Okay, okay, no. That's depressing. Um Panton. Never mind. Okay. It's going to the bathroom. Uh, Alec. Yeah. Alec, what is your initiative roll? Oh, uh, 22. Okay. Alice. Um. Initiative. Wait, let me, let me. I think it was a six. Uh, yeah, what's that? 25. Okay. Oh my god, Father Bear rolled the same thing for initiative twice. Um, Mira. Yeah, she's not here, is she? Phantom, what did you roll initiative, please? Uh, 16. 24 again. <laughs> and Milo. Shit, 24. I just hit myself over the head, don't worry. 24, okay. And I am just gonna roll for Mira because I can't be asked to wait. Oh, never mind, she's back. Mira, what's your initiative roll? Hi, what? Initiative roll, what is it? 
I have to roll it, and yeah. the website's still down. Okay, well, um, I will roll the Siri! Roll. Oh my god. Number between 1 and 20. She says 15, so plus 8, 23. Okay. Hello. <laughs> okay, so start the round. Which means a fresh round, smiley face. Wait. Which means that those of you who have MP, you take 5 points of MP damage. Oh, lovely. Now. 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 Oh, it's a start turn effect. I see. Yep. Five points. For those of, of you that don't have MP, you take twenty-five points of damage to your HP. Oh. Ow! Ow! I can't touch my token. <laughs> Do you want me to put it on there for you? I can't. Oh no! It's not. I can't touch my token. It's, I can't see the um, health. There we go. I'm going to cast a knight. Just for I get the world. This is going to be interesting. I've just lost like a sixth of my health just being here. Well, I haven't healed from the previous fights, so... Mm. Okay, so initiative order. Starting with Xanis, I think. Xanus is going to hold his actions. The boss holds his actions. The Wraith does not do anything. Xanus is currently... I'm checking it. Huh? I'm checking it. Okay. You keep track of that then. You're going to put that in the chat. So, Alice. I'm going to fucking cast fucking Darkhold on this thing. Make a wisdom save. What's the DC? 17. That's a success. <gasps> yes! Yes! Wrong one. <laughs> Wrong, Wrong success. success on the Wrong save. Success. success on the save, darling. Oh, you f No, guys. I rolled a 23 total. <laughs> no! Oh, oh. I now. Can I do it again? Uh, yeah, you may. Roll a wisdom save. That is a 19 total. Oh, oh my god, come on, again! Ugh. The thing is, I, I feel like this is the only useful thing I can do, or it's just gonna keep flying away. Can we do it again? Yep. Okay, one more time. 23. Oh god. Okay, right, and now I'm, I'm gonna activate my, um, dark, dark, whatever it's called, dark, dark side. side. As if that's your bonus action. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's all my actions. That's okay. so annoying. Which means the next thing to act is... Or next person to act is Pendant. I'm going to activate Lucky Streak. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use one of my actions to take a black curtain. Yep. Black curtain, is it a curtain? Is that what it's called? Yeah, it is. So, 1d4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, four. So I'm immune to shadow damage for four rounds. Yes, so I'm taking additional damage when it's hitting me beyond just the damage I'm taking just being here. So is it corporeal here? Can I actually attempt to hit it? You certainly may. It is corporeal apparently. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, the throwing cards then. Okay, roll to hit. Where did I just put my dice? I've lost my dice. There it is. 
right in front of you. Roll, roll the fucking thing. Roll. The roll on a flat surface. Okay, I'm picking that. That's a nat 20. Okay. The first time I actually rolled, that's a nat 20. Uh, 44. Oh my god. 3, 2, um, 1, and 3. So it's 9. So, nine. so then plus 18. So it's 27. 27 doubled. Is 54. 54. So 54 points of damage for the first hit. Hmm? What was your three actions? What was your hit total? 54. 54 to hit. Oh, sorry, to hit. Nat 20. So it was. What total? It was 44 to hit. Okay, so 54 points of damage, yeah? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and I'll do it again, I guess. Mm hmm. Wait. You crit, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It doesn't crit, so... It doesn't crit. 27. Is that 27? So let me just pop it back in. I nearly forgot that for a second, because I wasn't looking at the stat block. Oh, yeah, I also forgot about the fact that I get additional damage. That'd be 28. Because I checked it. Yes, you did. Yeah, I've got plus one, minus one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. Try roll on that one. We need to get you a book. We do! That's 11, so that's... What total? Yes. You have your hit bonus thing right in front. 35. 35 to hit? Yes. Yep. 3... 3... 4... 10 so far... And 1. So 11. Plus 18, so 29 damage. Okay. I think. Yeah, it is. So hit him twice, use me, lucky streak, and black curtain. Mm -hmm. And you attack twice, that should be at the end of your turn. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Please so announce that next time. That wasn't certain. Sorry, I thought I said I think that's it. You have clear. Her. Okay, so next person to act is Milo. Uh -huh. Um, okay. So I'm going to first use a Choco Shield. Mm hmm. Uh. Gonna protect shell and fast healing <laughs> two for one d six plus one round. So six rounds, and I'll put that in in a moment. Then I'm going to die a little on the inside. Yep. And eeny meeny miny mo. What do I do? I don't know. <laughs> Can I hold my other action for... Actually, I'm going to move. A bold move, I know. Go for it. Is there any, anywhere on the... Uh... Yeah. You are currently just kind of floating through an ethereal space right now. Go move here. Is that the end of your turn? Um, then I'm gonna hold my other action for attack. Okay. With my heavy rifle. So everyone's intelligence is back. Hmm? The intelligence thing's gone then. Yes. Is that end of your turn then? Yeah. Okay. The boss now decides to start acting. And it immediately. uses its bonus action for Ecto Smash. I can't move the token there because it will cover up everybody else's, but it is currently over the top of where Mira, Alec, Xanis, and Kay currently are. 
And it attacks Penton. With its aging touch. Is that a hit? Rolling a 20. And the dice. Hit. So, 39 total. 39? Fucking hell. Which is a crit. <laughs> Uh, so I can make a crit regular attack. I with, choose to do that with, with my ability. Which one? Specify. I think it's called. Oopsie daisy. Did you have your re your charge back on that? Did you? Yes, I did. I got it a stupidest way from Mirror. Oh yes, you did, didn't you? What I do? I can't remember what you did. You slapped me or something. Or somebody slapped me and crit me. Yes. Huh? So I'll turn that into a regular attack, and I don't know what my fucking AC is against this guy. Your AC will be thirty. Then Not enough. Thirty-six. Thirty. Oh, I'm so close. It's thirty-seven. Well, make me a con save, please. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, I wasn't scrolled up. There you go. Where's my Christmas modifier? Do you still have those bonuses active? Is the question. Why is there a plus two? Did you set it back? I do want to make sure that everybody is aware that, that intelligence bonus that lasted for 19 minutes is no longer present. In case you haven't set that back up, set that back down yet. Why is my charisma? I unfortunately had already done that. Nice. Penton uh, had not. For a lot of bonuses. Well, Penton! So I'm not gonna move the boss from where it is, but just be aware it's on top of... It's on top of you guys. Because otherwise you guys can't select your tokens. Which is just inconvenient. No, I can. I roll again and choose the. Which well, I want to prefer, don't I? When I use luck nice. points. No, when you use once. your luck point, you have you re-roll and take take the next roll oh, okay. if it's worse. So it's... I'm pretty 31 sure. Thirty-one on the save. Thirty-one. That is a success. So you take forty points of damage total. It's a shadow damage. I state what I said. This pass it, the effect of Aging Touch is it will pass through any damage reduction that is not innate. So if it is not a racial trait, you do not get it. No. Surprise, it's an incorporeal being. There are souls like that. So you take 40 points of shadow damage. I then need a con save from Xanis, K, Alec, and Astromira, please, as the being is currently sitting above all three of you. All four of you, sorry. So all four of you need to make me a save. It's a that, con save. Fuck. It's a really bad time to admit I was not listening. What? Make con save. Roll a, con. a con save, please. Ooh. Oh. Oh. oh a good uh, thing. Uh, Don't do a that's, con save. That's two, um, that's two fails. That's always a good start. Twelve. <laughs> Three fails. Yeah, I don't have any additions, so it's just a 19. But that's a really good roll. Really four it? fails. Okay, so all four of you failed. So, 40 points of shadow damage each. Apply your resistances as necessary. Okay. Oh, don't, unless it's an 8. <laughs> so, it should be 20, 22 Mira and Alec. Just be racist. It's okay, I have. Oh, shit. Being they have shadow damage. Demonic. <laughs> Because ah, I'm a demonic little bastard. Hmm? Well, they yeah. give for resistance to shadow damage as race. Like by the race, do they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. I am um, Asimara. Well, I kept saying, mm, I so get... I kept repeating myself. Audible concern. I get resistance to shadow and fire. Yeah, so yeah I get really mm -hmm. Oh my god, K has six strength. Because I'm a little demon. Oh I'm a little god. Demon. <laughs> I'm an evil little little man. You better not be killing my daughter. I forgot that she only has seven strength. Oh no. Oh, Did do you... we take? 
Yes, you still take the one damage to strength, con, and dex. We take more dam more damage to decay. Cool. Yep. Oh god, no, I, I don't really need any of those. Alec so followed the Candleman into a fucking crypt. Yep, this, this is, is my fault. fault. This is entirely uh, your fault. Why did we follow the Candleman into the crypt? The ethereal plane seems to empower this wraith, as with its next action. You know. Well, I say next action. As part of a free action, because you are currently in the place it's mo most powerful, it proceeds to eject Father Bear through a rift back into the material plane. Who has the crystal? That's a problem. They just put him... Basically a hole no, is we don't have in a way the out. ground, and Father Bear is not there. Who has the gemstone? Mm. Father Bear. Are you sure about that? Are you, are you aware if he picked up the gem or not? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know, that's the best part. No one knows. Exactly. No one knows. Father Bear was the, was the last one in. Well, he was the one that said we're going to need that to get back out again, so I assume he did. But upon touching <laughs> the stone every single time, it has teleported the holder. So nobody <gasps> has the gem. <laughs> oh, oh, great. Oh so he's going to be going in, out, in, out, check it all about. Um, it then proceeds to yep. move five feet. Mm. Oh my gosh, are you telling me we're stuck in here with this fucking massive gun? Proceeds to drain, use drain touch. Is that? Ooh, actually. Hello, Milo. Proceeds no! to drain touch Milo. <laughs> Milo. Watch, uh, watch this drive. Well, what are your stats now? What's your AC? Before, before you ask, is protect plus one or plus two? Uh, ba base protect is plus two. Plus two. Okay, it probably doesn't help me in any sort of way, but it's um twenty-four total. No, I rolled. I rolled a twenty-six. Fuck. Okay. So, kill me already! Do it! <laughs> um... We will miss you. R.I.P. Mimi. You take... Oh, what's fucking... You take 10 points of shadow damage Twilight. total. I've applied, your, I've applied your resistances already. Okay. So, 10 points of shadow damage, which the Wraith is healed for as it drains your life energy from you. Wait, hold on a minute. Does Drain Touch still trigger that's, with that's Aging Touch? It? I don't know if that applies or not. Can target I just say take, no? Target takes damage or takes form, uh, triggered by Aging Touch attack or passing through the Wraith while it's still in the Ethereal Plane. I mean, it's technically in the Ethereal Plane and you are touching it. So no. it's gained 50 points of health. 10 health. 40 from me. No, because it hasn't drained your health. It just touched you. It slapped you really? with its hands. It didn't it drain your touch. Me. Yeah, aging touch does not restore health. But you said it triggers with age touch. Yeah, I'm trying to work out whether it will trigger or not, because this is a very unique scenario. Anyway, no. So that's, that's the next one. It then proceeds to use Blood Saber. Meaning everybody that's in a 15 for oh, that's all of you. Can all of you oh, no. make me a con save, please? A oh, con save. Wait, hold on. <laughs> this guy have like. Oh, oh fuck it all. Three minus one. Is it a oh, spell save? Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, it's a, I'm it's done. A it's a magical con save. Oh no, it's just three. Just three. So is that a spell save? No. Yes. Mate, I'm yes. Yes. Done. Oh wait, no. no. I get plus two from shells. Doesn't help. Oh. I am upset. Oh. Upsetty. <laughs> I'm done. La y'all. I'm leaving. Your father okay. bear is gonna come back into the ethereal plane and see us fucking dead. It's like, oh shit. <laughs> anyway, I will um, be dead. Oh, no, I will. On that no. one, that's a good start. Alice, could you <laughs> roll? 
Alice, what did you roll total for your con save? I rolled a 37. That's a success! Probably hey, the only one! Dark side on. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Hansen, what did you roll? <laughs> what is it total? 35. If you tell me that's not a success, I'm going to slap you. It's a success, fortunately enough. Thank you. Christ almighty. I even got slapped. Milo. It's ten. Nat one. Oh, no. Ten. It's a ten. What do you mean you nearly got slapped? I'm gonna get bitch slapped into the fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean I nearly got slapped? Cheeky bastard. I'm Mira. I'm not gonna at this. Fourteen. No. Alec, I already know what the answer is gonna be, but hit me with it anyway. Would a would a three would a three? No, <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. shame. Fuck. Oh, you know what you always say, like you said, you know, try and avoid using haste. It's like combat too slow. I hate combat. I hate raves. <laughs> Fuck combat. this guy. This, oh, it's just this one particular back. guy. <laughs> Okay, okay, please so, save us! I wish we could see his health because I have no idea how far in we are. Oh shit, yeah. I should We're show not you in. This. That's the point. We're not in. We're no one fucking got close. A, He's got a, like a full a fucking den. HP bar. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Okay, yeah, so from top to bottom, Xanis failed, taking 26 points of shadow damage. Um, I need to check my numbers before I do this. Oh, okay, okay. So, Xanus takes 26 points of damage. Um, it's you done. Alice, you succeeded. So, you take 13. So, half that again. Um, 7 points of shadow damage. What I'm hearing is, Alice, you take no damage. Basically no damage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, living my best dark side life. Dark side is that good because spell save bonuses are bitching. <clears throat> Penton, you succeeded, so you take thirteen points of shadow damage. Is that again? Actually, no. You have your curtain through. up, so yes. no, you take no damage. Lucky you, eh? Hey? Good. Milo, you take thirteen points of shadow damage because you're um, your tiefling. A tiefling. Hey. Yep. So thirteen. So. Oh. This. I'm so glad that nobody's noticed it yet. Oh Same shit! Oh shit! <laughs> oh, oh, no. Because you have oh, oh, you have shadow not, damage, so you take 13 total. That's with your resistances applied. Um. Oh, oh, all of his attacks. <laughs> Alec, you take 13 as well because tiefling. I'm gonna kill you, Lupus. Do oh, I just don't threaten me with a good time. Um, and I just fucked up majorly. I'm gonna personally come to your house and once again, do not threaten you. me with a good time. Um, I did a fuck like one here. I'll personally come to your house. Yes. Yeah, let's all come to Lupus's house and just. No, you don't. You don't threaten to kill him. You threaten to make him socialize. With strangers. Yeah, in I'm, a I'm wide come open to your area. House. You know what? And just for that, just for that, Mira, guess where this last Mira. action's going? In my arse! In your Oh, arse. it's almost my dice my dice my dice no. Forty four to hit with Death Cutter. Eat my leg. I will eat your leg. Because <laughs> your legs are too long to go on the cover of Vogue, bitch. Uh, I can't tell if that's a compliment or a threat, but I like it. Um, <laughs> I, I, th I think Mira needs to roll a con save. I think I Mira think needs to Mira roll two needs con to saves. I think Mira needs to have a nap. It's a full health. It's a full health. It's it's it's. Yep, it's a full oh. health. All right. Oh. So, so what that whole time ah. was for nothing. <laughs> What's How are we supposed to do anything to it if it just if it just We use haste and we chip damage to the fuck out of it. 
Yeah, I guess. I don't have any weapons though, so any anything I can do for damage is just, Point. is just gonna... <laughs> it's gonna take my How MP. How do you plane shift us? Wasn't that how you did anyway, in the first place? Mira, I did what were your con saves, please? <laughs> I got a 14 and a 26. <laughs> the first one's a fail, the second one is a success. So you only take... <laughs> No, you take nine points of shadow damage with your resistances applied. However, the first one is a fail. Meaning you have two rounds of countdown, and then you hit zero HP. Oh my Yo, God. let's go! I'm gonna fucking die! Whoa! Agony. Agony. I'm dying in real life, bitches! <laughs> I'm gonna die in real life before you do. Anyway, <laughs> speaking of death, Mira, it's your turn. No, I don't want to. As the boss <laughs> is now done with its turn. I'm done. Good for it. Oh my god, Please my throat tell me that blood, was just like... I might actually be dying. That was just like a really bad first turn for oh us. Oh my like, god. It doesn't have any more juice left now. Oh, my throat tastes of blood. Right. <clears throat> I know what I'm doing. Come on, let's fuck this bastard up. Let's fuck it up! Okay, I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. You can put haste on that. If anyone can put haste on, that'll be good. Can, can I... I have haste. I will haste. Someone. Can I, I have use haste. my held action? Yes, you may. Milo, go first, please. I need a nap. <clears throat> well, so I, said, I said I had my heavy rifle out, didn't I? Yes, you did. Um... I guess Marlo would attempt to shoot. <laughs> Especially after that. <laughs> I, <it's> like, <laughs> I, <laughs> if he hits anyone else, I am not sorry. You will be. No, I won't be. Because I'll hope it hits you. <laughs> 18. <laughs> and, and I'll 18 to kill you. Uh, yeah. Nope. You miss. I don't suppose I can give advantage or luck or anything, can I? I don't think I can. Uh, it's, not it's not something we've explored. No. Nah, no. Okay. No, unfortunately not. That is a miss. Okay. You are fortunate enough, though, as that you do not hit Mira or Alec. Okay. <laughs> In that. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Speaking of Mira, hey Mira, it's back to you. No. Oh, okay. Do this. Oh my god, basic maths, please, please, brain. What's 8 plus 12? 20! 20. 20. That, does that hit? No. Right. Left. A bit awkward then. Yes. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna cast, um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll cast haste, haste Arga. Haste yep. So ha haste So are you, you, where are you center pointing that? Are you center pointing it so you can get everybody in it? Yes, obviously. <laughs> well, so far there. Yeah, I'll far plan there. ahead. Far there's not here, but yes, okay, so everybody now has haste. I plan ahead on these things, clearly. Very um, clearly. Mm, uh, I'll cast Phalanx 3 on myself. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna rape here this bitch again. Oh, that's a thirty hit. That hits. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now to do proper maths because I realised I forgot to add my weapons and actual damage last time. Um, so we're gonna do that this time. Okay, go for it. Eighteen. Damage. Eighteen damage. Yeah. What's twenty five percent of eighteen? Seven um, hoggers. No. Yes, it Five. is. I just googled it. No, I just googled it. Twenty-five percent of eighteen. Yeah. Yeah. Divide it by two is nine. Divide it by two again is four and a half. So it's five. Which I've literally just googled it. Twenty-five percent of eighteen. It says seven. It's incorrect. I will look this up. No, it says four point five. Bitch, please. I was like seven. Wait, what is, what is this? What is this? Hang on. Google what, is on? just wrong. <laughs> okay. What, what, what is it? 
Google. It's 4.5, which is round. Okay, what never... is 4.5? We... No, we finished. It's fine. Don't worry. It's 4.5, darling. It's 4.5. Anyway. I, I've li- I, <laughs> Moving yeah. swiftly onwards. Oh, we have 20 day. minutes of Moving session left. Moving onwards. I am going to use Drown. Make me a dex save. A dex save? Uh, yeah. I'm actually worried about your intelligence for a minute. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm worried about my <laughs> I was looking at that and thinking, the, wow, um, that's really high. What's the DC? 23. That is a 25 on a dex save, correct? Eat my ass. Yes. Yeah. 25. So, tee hee, no. Um, 10d6 plus 24. No, not 204. Of what uh, element, please? Water. Okay, so... 84 and a half at 42. Yep. Okay, and then I am going to aura break K. Okay. Wait, does that end my turn? Uh, you would probably need to end your turn with the round action, yes. I will wait on that, I still have more actions. That was the end of my first action, we're rapiering this bitch again. Okay, roll to hit. 30 again! Yep, that is. And hits. another 18! Another 18. Okay. Uh, then we will do another drown. Make me another deck save. That is a 28. Feck! Okay. Eat my PC laugh at you. 35 damage, water damage. That's including the, the thing. It's split down. Yeah, I've already halved it. Okay. I can do basic maths. Rapier again! Oh my god, I keep rolling 18, another 30! Yep. And then 15. <laughs> the voice crack. I am very upset! <laughs> anyway! Um, I've lost track. I think I've done two spells this round. Yep. Okay, we're gonna drown it again! Go! Woo! Imagine if Milo had shot the, uh, shot the gemstone before it grabbed anybody. Drown it again! And then you would have trapped Mira and Alec in the ethereal plane. Before play. it grabbed anybody. Lupus, Robbie, in That is a 27. Wait, no, that's not how maths works. It's 38. 38! So you're the person who just said 25% of, of 18 of 7, so it's 38. why don't you do any kind 38! 38 water damage! <clears throat> Have you done it yet? It's 28. No, 38! 38! 38! Okay, I think I have one more spell this round! <laughs> Drown again! I will make this thing wet. <laughs> Roll me a dex save. What's the DC? Wet, 23. I rolled a 24. No! <laughs> okay. <laughs> 38 again. It was so high pitch. I didn't even register on the mic. Okay. Okay. I, I think this is round three now of my movement. So rapier I'm pretty sure that's oh round four, God. honey. What? Well, have... I have red majory! You're gonna entitle yes. this clip, Mira loses it. <laughs> <laughs> I've yeah. only done like six spells, man! <laughs> okay, go I for it. Only... This sh- I think this is the last one. I'm 30 not sure. to hit! Yep, that hits. 14 damage! As a reaction, this thing is going to drain touch. Oh my god. <laughs> this bell, this bell. Drain touch who? A spell! Oh yeah! It's going to drain touch Miss Lavanda. I'm dispelling! <laughs> yeah, 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 dispel. If, 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 yeah, I'll also dispel. It's a I melee dispelled. spell attack, so you can try. Yeah. Go for it, you can try. Make sure to reduce oh, your MP first before you cast I will. dispels, please. I will, I'm, I'm gonna dispel this mofo. Both of us? <laughs> both of you. You're both trying, so both do it. Make a custom make it's a what we roll. level of check against an enemy cast. So it'll be a d20 ability. plus your caster level. So for you, Alice, I believe it is plus 16 to that. D20 it's plus 17, 16. Uh, my caster oh, level is 17. Um, hmm. I'm not sure if I'm remembering that correctly. Oh no, that's no, no. 
Oh, you are level 19, so cast a, cast a level of 16, but because it's a third level spell... Oh, fuck, I have Oh, right, I it. see, I see. Okay, yeah, 16. Roll, so, roll yeah. good, roll good yeah. Alice, because I rolled a 4. Oh my god, I rolled a 4 as well, but I think... Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> I think outside my, my... Wait. Uh, that's I'm a third really hope the dark side doesn't think move. Three... It's okay, I still have over a hundred MP. Is it a plus baller. five? That's okay, it doesn't go down before baller. the aura break goes off. Because I have balls. Okay, well, it's a, it's a 20. I, I, my dispel is a 20. Nope. Balls of magic. One off. I know. It crit. Oh. You're fucking, you're fucking oh. telling me that my fucking dispel didn't... Work. Your fucking dispel didn't work, mate. It didn't. Fuck. I fucking dispel. Fuck me. Now I've got to get rid of three of my MP. Fuck me, Kay's gonna Fuck die. That. I don't even know Green. where my accent came from, but we are vibing. It does 44 points of shadow damage to her with the crit added in. Is she alive? She is on 11 health. She's gonna anyway, oh die at the end of the round. <laughs> Someone needs to heal Kay. But if she's she's not to heal herself. She still has MP. Okay. If you have I've so, been... Mira, that I've last been... spell. That last spell, please. I have been negating my MP drain with my rapier. Love this bitch. Anyway, um... um uh, I don't think I can kill it. Yes, you can. I don't think I can. Um, wait, it's undead, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Holy, holy. I have a white globe. Do it. Can I smash that bitch, or is it going to hit everyone? It will hit everyone, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if it's an AoE, it will hit everybody. Oh, I have light, light rod. I have light three, and I have light rod. Please don't murder us all. Which one is the non- AOE. You're the one looking uh, at your spell list, you tell me. I'm not looking at my spell list, look at my items. Well, that's unfortunate, you'll have to work it out. But you have to start looking at your yeah. spell list. Bruh, someone who knows this series, help me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> Hang on, wait, wait, I have a scheme to figure this out. Blizzard 2 is a single target, yeah. so surely, yeah. surely right. Light 3 is the single. <laughs> would make sense. Yeah, yeah. that would make sense. <laughs> so I'm pretty I'm gonna, sure it is. I'm going to use my light, my white globe to cast light three on this bitch. Okay, can you roll me a con save? A con save. Okay, what is the yes. DC, please? Seventeen. Okay. Oh wait, hold on a minute. It's a con save, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it's not. You throw the white globe and nothing happens. What do you mean? No, Mario, death sound effect. effect. Because undead are immune to making constitution saves. Doesn't that mean you just fail the save? It still goes nope. off. So it's just a no, failed save. It doesn't do no, a, succeed, a succeeded save. I mean. It will be treated it as a succeeded save. It looks like uh, yeah, but it, it does partial, partial damage. I still do damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that, God. Okay, Jesus Christ. Um, five d six, five d six plus ten. Oh, okay. Come on, you can do this, Maria, Maria, Maria. Thirty one, Maria, Maria. Maria. So, Thirty one. I think I would have done more damage had I just used. Your did help. you half it and then double it? Because yeah, undead. well, uh, wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, you have to I, half I, it that... because it's an Im it's technically immune to that. If I half it and then double it, doesn't it literally give you the same thing? I'm making sure yeah. that you've done that. But yeah, I haven't. But yeah. Yes. And that is the end of your turn. <laughs> I mean, yes, if you Christ? half a number and then double a number, you get the same number. I mean, I said better. That is true. I, 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 I did max A level. I can confirm it's true. I did not do max A level, but I'm. Anyway. Alec, do you want to move next, or do you want you as you are next in the ocean water? Are you going next, or do you want to let K move first? Up to you. I am going to let K move first. 
Okay. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. So, uh, a small child. I'm, I shouldn't call her a child, she's a small woman. There you go. Is pissed. Looks to Alec and is. In the in the mo in a borderline menacing tone, you just hear Mr. Emil, would you mind just um preparing to get us back home? She cracks her knuckles. I'm about to show <coughs> this bastard why you don't fuck with the lavender. <clears throat> and she very quietly clears her throat and turns to the wraith. Haste is still up, so it's three actions. In her first action, consumes eight, consumes 18 of her MP. And back-to-back -back hits this thing with D-Protect 5 and D-Shell 5. <laughs> Oof. Which is a... Both of which I believe are wisdom saves. Yes, they are. I nearly got... Oh, oh my god. That's a fail, and that's a fail. Even if wait, <laughs> even if this thing, even if this thing crit succeeded, that it would never be able to beat the DC for her first level spells. What have I created? Okay, so this for the next nineteen rounds, this this wraith has minus ten to AC and minus ten to spell saves. For the next nineteen rounds. Okay, and then. Oh god, okay. This is gonna be entertaining. Then uh, follows up with her limit break. Pulse of life. Meaning that everybody within 30 feet of her, which is all of you. I'm pretty okay. sure it reaches from there. Yeah, we get. Does it reach you, Marlo? I can't <coughs> remember. Bring yeah, it, it does. Yes. It does. Sexy. Um. You are all healed for 48 HP. And now have fast healing 10 for the next 5 rounds. Does that also hey, kill cool. the thing? Because it's undead. Nope. It only targets allies. Oh, that. that I, thought, I thought that was what you were going for. You were just going to be like, oh, it heals everyone else. But that would be hilarious, up. unfortunately. Yeah. Probably not. Wait, who did it target? Literally the entire party, so everybody has recovered 48 right, that, Okay, that's what I thought. I thought, uh, okay. Um, Wait, I Alice, like, you still I have your dark side up. Myself. Oh, I'm worried. Oh, no. Alice, you have your dark side up. No one Oh, yeah, let me, take, let me take off my, my thingies. Whoopsies. Well, um, Shen follows this up with her last action, which is a dual cast of... Fucking, where is it? Casts Faith on herself. Giving a plus nine to magical damage and healing. Nice. And then follows it up with Radiance 2. Hey, that is. Fucking hell, girl. Calm down. <clears throat> okay, Radiance 2 is a 8 flower spell. 1000 so damage. 45 Two to hit trillion. with a crit. Nice. Five thousand billion kajillion damage. <laughs> oh, I love this girl. She does. She hits with radiance too, dealing a grand total of four hundred and twenty-eight points of holy damage. Oh my, my god! Lord. Why didn't we just let her? battle this thing. Because she crit it and she hit a holy weakness. She can't crit it. Oh my god. Uh, Even then, it's 214 damage. That yeah, basically just one shots this. Could we not have just thrown a phoenix down at this? Nope. No. Nope. Maybe a mega phoenix. Wait. Do I have 15 of those? <laughs> Zenith has a Mega Phoenix, I could have avoided this entire counter if he had just thrown it. Anyway, this Wraith is now- the Wraith is now deceased. And you are all 
ripped out of the ethereal plane back into the material, and you're all just kind of plopped around this gemstone in the crypt. Oh! Um, my throat still tastes like blood. I feel like I should be concerned. Nah, probably just. All of that for your lemon. Wait, does, wait, wait. Twelve did we seconds leave? from now, Mira just gets down to zero HP. Did we leave when I when I oh, casted yeah. when yeah. I casted a um, oh, plane shift? Sorry. I would okay. assume I... yes that you cast a plane shift. I am terribly sorry. Okay, I'm totally and I'm just means... taking nine from my. Uh, yeah. MP. I think twelve seconds have gone by. Woohoo! Well done, guys. We lived. Um, oh. Milo makes a good point. Countdown. Oh, oh no. yeah! Mira, Mira, you dropped a zero well, HP. Okay, uh, oh, I no. can't delay death on Mira, so she's not gonna die. She's not okay. gonna die anyway. Death. She's not gonna well, die anyway, she's got die. fast healing 10, and K is... Oh, that's true! Uh, you know what, I won't bother then. <laughs> a Mira, bitch! Mira drops and then just gets gets back up again. <laughs> I think about helping her, but then I'm just like... It's like, eh, nah, she's alright. Mm. Someone okay, else um, so Father Bear's standing there, obviously very, very concerned. Um, Mira is going to look around each of the party who has taken damage so far. Do you mean Kay? Oh, sorry, Kay, not fucking Mira, my bad. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I have healing <laughs> now, by the way! Yeah, you're unconscious. Oh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, good point. After she healed me, I'm on full health. Yards. Alice, you are now on full health as K casts full cure on you. Milo, same uh, thing. Uh, so dark side full is cure. down. Well, it wouldn't I matter because obviously the. Down. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, I don't there's no point in. Up, in... Oh, Does full cure anyway. cure? <laughs> full cure. Does f... yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Go on. Does it affect the stat? No, it does not. Because then there's no point in casting full cure because the fast healing ten would then just boost me up to the. To max. She's doing it out of stubbornness, but yes, touche. I'm literally at max. <laughs> she's gonna cast full cure on you anyway, <laughs> just to make a point. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna cast full cure on Astromira. So you are back up to 231 health. And Woo! it's the same thing for Penton. You 231. Oh, you say that the uh, the Constitution stat doesn't affect the health total. I don't even have 100 health, and you've got two of them? So I'm pretty sure you have <laughs> two your of the health. Max health would be the same. Right. That's the same. Yeah, it's basically heals you up to the full health. So Next level up, I'll have, a hun I'll have 100. Okay. And then minus 7 for herself. Jeez. Ooh, let's go collect our reward. So. What is our reward? This, oh, he didn't tell us. This spiritual being is now gone. I need to remember that that is that, which is going to be interesting. Oh no! I think that's a problem, because that's... Oh god, that's... Uh, that's going to be enough XP, that's going to be enough XP, isn't it? Oh no. Have I what? fucked myself? What? I believe. 20. Oh yeah, we get a EXP. How much EXP do we get? Well, considering that this CR of this fight was way, way higher than we initially thought it was going to be. Than I initially thought it was going to be, good sir. Um, well, I initially thought it was not going to be that high, so I would say I would probably be some good It's a CR... 31, you said. I yes. initially yes. thought we were fucked, so... We all did. And we originally thought it was... So I'm going to have to total this up to see, because i got to apply the difficulty of the fight as well. But um, I'm pretty sure there's a level 20 coming around the corner. Uh -oh. For all of us? Even me? I Even me? don't know. And it's the candle merchant. I don't know. I'm gonna calculate that after Please, the next I wanna session. be a thief! I wanna be a thief boy! I wanna be a, uh, I wanna be a stealing man! From the gemstone, Milo, you hear a very familiar voice. <clears throat> Brother, come over here a second. Brother. Brother! Coming from the gemstone. And it begins My to glow a radiant bluish white. Milo approaches the gemstone. And as you approach the gemstone, that's where I'm ending the session. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Woo! So I will <laughs> you next session. Little Goodbye. Goodbye.